Hey guys, it's Az and Leo here. Mythic Games, we're here to show you Joan of Arc Mass Battles, but we wanted to have a little bit of a chat with you yeah. before we got into the game, because we're welcoming you guys into the Paris office. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> How do you find it? It's Just... absolutely amazing. It's been a fantastic few days, and obviously in April we're going to be having the Joan of Arc Pledge Manager coming to an end. Before it does, we wanted to take an opportunity to show off the Mass Battle system. Yes, of Time the of battle Network. mode and... Mass battle. The, yes, big, the yeah. big army list. Yes, this yes, is it. Yes. Um, everyone's been asking about it, had lots and lots of questions. So want to make you aware of a couple of things first of all. We will be playing with prototypes of course, because we're going to be using tiles and minis, some 3D printed minis, some masters and stuff. So a bit of a, a bit of a mix and match. It will be holy versus unholy, English versus French. Absolutely. Yeah. Not Irish. English, <laughs> English Irish. Um, and basically we want just to make you aware that this will not be the same kind of quality as you'd usually expect with the likes of Trick Track or Feast of War. We've set this up with a fantastic camera to show off the board and all the minis, but we'll also be using Leo's famous Kickstarter uh, webcam. <laughs> We'll be using this for close-ups and shots of the board, so hopefully you'll, you'll bear with us. We're going to look to do more videos in the future, but we wanted to get this one out to you guys quick so you can see the mass battle. Now, for this, we've not chosen a specific scenario, but we chose a kind of setting for us then to build our own custom army lists around. So do you want to mention, Leo, what the setting is? Yes. Uh, well, the setting is based on uh, the heretics, the heretics, heretics sorry, yeah. the heretics who... Uh, who became a little bit too zealous? Yeah. Would you the say fla that? flagellants. Yeah, and yeah the flagellants. And the, yes. So uh, they they had a problem with the Pope, mm -hmm. and so uh, the Pope excommunicated them, mm -hmm. and uh, he declared them heretics. And so uh, because of that, uh, they are marching towards Avignon, mm -hmm. where the the Pope is, mm -hmm. and this is the the setting. So what do they want to do? Well, the uh, the heretics want to. To kill, kill, the Pope, kill the Pope, right? And the Pope uh, raised an army. Mm -hmm. And that's who I'll be playing. I'll be playing as the Holy, the Defense Force. I'll be the Defender in this battle while Leo was playing as the yes. Attacker. And yeah, I'll be playing the Attacker and I'll, I'll be playing some French mm -hmm. guys and you will be playing some English guys. Mm -hmm. uh, and just to show, because for uh, in many battles, uh, Joan of Arc was the, uh, the, the, the Holy person, yes. right? This time she will be uh, on the unholy side. Yes, so it's to show the flexibility yes. of the army list building system and our two army lists are balanced. If you have a look at the What's Up Wednesday update 100 for the Joan of Arc Kickstarter campaign, yes. you will see both Hundred our years army lists. War. This the perfect yeah. time to do it. So you'll see the, the unholy and the holy, uh, the English and the French army lists together there. You can go and check them out. But we're going to get into the game. We hope you enjoy. Okay, so here we go guys. We've gone ahead and done the deployment already. So the English are on this side of the board with my rally point here. I am the defender, so I was first to completely deploy. On Leo's side of the board then, we have the French, the heretics, the flagellants, the <laughs> antichrist. Um, and you guys will be attacking, coming out of the forest towards me. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So we'll briefly run over the battlefield uh, and then we'll talk uh, briefly about where we've deployed and then we'll get underway. So. For myself, I deployed first, and because I deployed first uh, as the defender, I decided to go for very traditional, very simple. So I have uh, my warhounds and some mounted knights on my left flank and some mounted knights they on my right flank. Can move fast. Yeah, well, we have some haste and charge. Yeah. So, so, so covering, covering my flanks. Then next in, I have some uh, foot knights here, my specialist, very hard hitting, retaliating uh, soldiers. Uh, in this case, they're backed up by both warhounds and the black prince. And in this case, I have a kind of a holy combination. I have together, I've taken my execute, excuse me, my inquisitor and my bishop. They can both pray, they can use prayer. So this is kind of going to be like my little myth token or experience token generation pool. Then in front of me, um, I have my angel. So I have the Archangel St. Michael, who's right up the middle because he rolls a ton of red dice in attack, backed up by just a normal unit of angels as well. And then behind that, I have my processional monks. I have the combination of um, the executioner and also John Chandos. So this has given me just a nice strong central. Then right beside them, I have my crossbowmen. And the reason they're here is specifically related to the battlefield. So I'll talk a bit about what's on the terrain. Right in front of me, we have a hill which not only blocks line of sight, but it also means you can't charge out of it, you can't charge into it, and any units on top of it get an extra hex on ranged attack. So I'm hoping to get my crossbowmen there and kind of hold this position in the middle of the battlefield. The shrine in this case doesn't have any special actions, but it does count as one of the units on that hex. So this full hex would normally be eight, but in this case it's seven units maximum. And for anyone that's not aware, when you see a hex split in, in one, it's eight units. 
in two it is six and six and we don't actually have any three splits here but usually it would be four four and four the other key kind of uh, components in the battlefield we have a swamp here now this is a terrible position to be defending in because if you're attacked here one of your defense shield dice can be removed so this is kind of a boggy area that's going to be hard to hold we also have a, a village two village areas in fact one with a church which can actually hold five units inside it and then a split hex here with two houses each that can hold two units inside it that's very important because the the, the kind of um, battle mode victory point that we, we we did this beforehand because there's multiple different ways you can play battle mode we've decided to do it by both execution and essentially area control yeah. so each area so that means each individual area within a hex in these outside three, yeah, outside, outside of our deployment yes. so our deployments are the the back hexes so these three rows of hexes at the end of each player's turn um the the hexes of the area excuse me that they control will be worth a victory point but at the end of the game, each unit that you have killed, killed, not uh, uh, out of action, will be worth two victory points. And each unit that you have put out of action will be worth one victory point. Out of action at the end. At the game. end of the game. Yeah. Um, so it's very so important. So before that, mm -hmm. when they are out of action, they don't, you don't score points. Yeah, exactly. You just calculate that at the end of the game. You will get experience for killing units as well, though. So uh, we will hopefully see a lot of ranking up of, of units as we go through. So that's my deployment. That's the battlefield. How have you gone, Emily? Well, uh, as you know, as you said, I'm playing the heretics, mm -hmm. and uh, I have some um, like my flagellants and my heretics are very fast mm -hmm. and they are very resistant. They have yep. the tough uh, ability, which mm -hmm. means that once they're dead, yep. I can roll dice, and if I roll a shield, so mm -hmm. one chance out of yep. two, they will still be there. So yep. I hope they will. Uh, be uh, a pain in the butt. <laughs> yes, you have, you have many units that don't roll defense dice necessarily because they don't have armor, yes. but they are tough, which means you can negate it. Yeah. So it can resist. They can take it. They can, yes, take, they it. can take it. So uh, what do I have? Well, I have a lot of flagellants and heretics who are these kind of uh, strange yeah. units that I, I will use. Some of them, like the, these ones, the, the, the heretics, mm -hmm. can... Uh, well, they have haste, so yeah. they, can, they can... We'll see that in action. Yeah, we, that. we definitely will. So, <laughs> you know, uh, I have my M Magog. Yes, you yes. do. <laughs> he's the big uh, giant, and he's very resistant, very tough. So Seven I wounds. Could, yeah, seven <laughs> wounds. Yeah, seven wounds. I have the Antichrist, who's here. So he's a, a, a very, very good commander. He can command up to four units. Yes. So, um, actually, I have a few commanders... Uh, the the Antichrist. I have the Holy Relic, mm -hmm. who is the real Pope, because yours. Is no, not. he's not. He's a skeleton, not a horse. He's not the real Pope. Well, they took him out because he's the real Pope, and he will help them. <laughs> if he tries to drink wine, then it just leaks out of his body. He can't be the Pope. <laughs> uh, what, what what do I have? My uh, my elite troops yes. are probably the halberdiers. Yes. Uh, they are. They can retaliate. They're pretty good. Uh, so they are even. Better defense than uh, on yes, the you, attack. Yeah, you have halberdiers in the middle, which can counter um, yes. foot soldiers. And then behind that, you have spearmen, which can counter mounted units. So I have to very be, much be careful about where I engage you. I have also some uh, pikemen. Yep. Like, these are the, the ones that I have the most. So mm -hmm. they are, these are my basic soldiers. Yes. These, they are not very uh, resistant, but they're not too bad. They are in between. Yep. I have some peasants, angry peasants. Mm -hmm. So they are... No, they are not very, very good, but they can still hold they, areas, hold yeah, areas yeah, and yeah. score points. So my, I've deployed. You're more, a little more mm -hmm. focused. I've deployed everywhere because, yeah. maybe I want to take control of mm -hmm. areas and uh, use my speed. Yes, it's worth noting one small. If you look on What's Up Wednesday on update one hundred, as we mentioned before on the Joan of Arc Kickstarter page, you'll see the full army list. Because outside of the army list, we have a few extra things. I also have an extra charge yeah. token. And an extra MIP token at the start, which I bought with. We were playing with two thousand point armies yes. here, so the, the charge token was two hundred points, which is a lot, and the but MIP token a, was fifty. Big, yes. For me, with with two heavy yes. uh, areas of, of mounted cavalry, that charge token could literally change the game for me. Uh, and you've taken a single MIP. Yes, um, because uh, my my army was nineteen fifty points, yeah. so I have fifty points left. So I sp I, I bought a. A myth token because I have some units that can use myth to do special yeah. things. Okay, so we need to decide, although I deployed first, um, and as the defender and you as attacker, we still need to decide who's going to go first. Now the attacker gets a plus three to their yes. roll. Yes. So let's see what... Oh, oh, sorry. 
loses first. <laughs> <laughs> that's a four. Ooh. So that's a one plus three is four. Oh, I don't know if I want to go first. Oh, okay. I'm going first. <laughs> All right, this is okay. Okay, so I'm going to have a quick think about what I want to do. Let's have a little strategic break and come back with turn one. I wanted to tell something. Uh, mm -hmm. I have 37 units and mm -hmm. you have 32 units. So you multiply that by two or three and you see yeah. how many. That's a lot, a lot of uh, miniatures on the board. Yes, it's worth noting that this really is a large battle. It doesn't look because we're all condensed now, but as we start to spread out, you're really going to see how the narrative scenarios and the initial battle scenarios are nothing compared to how big this yes. is going to get very quickly. Um, okay, so start of round one. Yeah, it's going to be my turn to go first, but we need to draw our river card. So our first river card, we oh, have... No, no, a turn oh, card. Oh, turn card. Sorry, forgive yeah. me. Turn card first. So we have four, four normal four. activations each. Yes. So that's four of the grey cubes. Yeah. And now let's see the river cards. So the first one will let us either heal a wound or it will let us have a charge token. The next one will let us have three myth tokens. Or the third option from the river is to have a reactivation. That's a yellow, a yellow cube which lets you reactivate a, a ready activated hex. Um, so because you're first, you have to choose first, and then I will choose. I can choose yeah. the same as you, but... Well, what I'm going to do, during the council phase, John Chandos has an ability that says, during the council phase, draw one myth card. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to have a quick look at the myth card. Okay, I'm okay with this. So after having seen that myth card, I'm going to make the decision to take the three myth tokens because that will allow me to use the myth card that I have just drawn. So I now have four myth tokens from my first one plus three. Well, I know I can generate uh, myth or tokens with mm -hmm. my holy relic, so every time I activate, so mm -hmm. I will rather take the reactivate okay. uh, cube. Yep. It's always useful. Okay, let's get things going. I have a couple of pretty straightforward decisions. So my first activation will be into this area. Yeah. And I'm going to declare that all five units of crosswomen are simply going to move into the hill. Okay. Take this defensive position where they cannot be charged and they get that extra hex of, of range. And um, so I'm hoping that they'll be able to do so now. They're not in range right now, but in the future. Um, let's see, how can I do this best? I think I want to get some praying. You see, they cannot be charged? No, you cannot charge out or in to a hill. So it's, it's, it's good, but it's also bad, because once you're there, you're kind of having to run up or down, and um, so it's not possible to do either. Okay? I am going to then activate this hex. And there's a couple of things here. First of all, I have John Hawkward in here. Now, he has a one hex two unit command. So one hex away, I can activate two units. What I will do, let me think about what's best here. I think I will simply use that to activate this hex and move two units of mounted knights forward one space. I think that is okay. I think, I'm not sure if that's really... Actually, no, sorry, I'm going to change that slightly. Can he, uh, am I able to activate this space? From here, so his command, will it work to here? What is his command? His command uh, for John Hogwarts is one and two units. Oh, okay, so yes, it's, yes? it's of course, yes. Okay. That one means up to one hex, then and A means adjacent. Okay, perfect. Well, then let's do the executioner and the processional monks, because these are both just really standard troops, they're not characters. And that Otherwise, was, you wouldn't be able yes, to... Yes, exactly, can't command characters generally. So that's now seven units plus the shrine, so that's a full hex. So now. who commanded them? That was from John Hawkward. Okay. Um, what I'll then do is with the... Uh, I declare that the priest, uh, the bishop, and also the inquisitor are both going to activate their prayer abilities. And the... So that means they won't do anything else. Yes. They will stay here. Exactly. And the foot knights are going to just declare that they're going to move. So they're going to move forward. Let me just bring them to here. And uh, John Hawkwood is also going to move because his command happens before or after his activation. Absolutely. So he's done his command, but then his own activation is to move forward. And then the two prayers then, so the bishop and the inquisitor, I'm going to have them. Now when you pray, you can have either a myth or an experience token. So they're both going to go down the experience route. So I'm going to grab myself <laughs> two experience. You want to level up. I do. I have... 
four characters that all get, well, three that all level up in very interesting ways. So I want the experience early. And um, the specific reason I want it now though, is John Hawkward has an ability that says once per turn, if you spend an experience, I can gain a reaction, an interrupt blue, blue activation token. So I'm gonna spend that experience right now, gain that, pop that onto my player board. So that means when it does get to your turn, I have the option to interrupt you. So that is all good. So that was my second uh, normal activation. I think then, let me see, how do I want to split? I need to worry about how I'm splitting everything up here. Let's go ahead and do my third activation into this hex. And I don't think I need to do anything with the Black Prince. He is not gonna order anybody. I'm going to simply just move. Oh, I want those foot knights. These foot knights are so important to me. I think we're gonna move the Black Prince forward into this hex. Follow up with the foot knights. And then I'm actually going to move the Warhounds one to here. You know they can one, move up to two. Yeah, one to here. And then I'm actually, you're, you, you've got me on one, two areas across to here. Okay. Because I've realized I, I can only fit, uh, actually, do you know what? Let's move them both over here. Okay. Because I need to speed. I actually decided that, seeing how you've now deployed, seeing Magog, um, and seeing how many of your fast moving tough fanatics and, uh, and heretics and flagellants are over here, I no longer feel comfortable leaving these guys on their own. I, they're so important to me that I need them alive. So I'm going to move the warhounds across and then, yeah, I'm going to spend another activation to move these guys then forward to here, like so. Now I haven't. Seeing your deployment, I would have preferred to spend an activation bringing the angels into the sky and preparing to bring them down somewhere onto the board later on. But right now, I think I'm happy to wait until I see what it is you're going to do to me. Let's see if there's any other things. Ah, I did forget one small thing, if you don't mind, because it's quite important. The Inquisitor, at the start of my turn, lets me roll a dice. A black dice. And if I manage to roll a shield, which is a 50-50, I'm actually able to steal a myth or experience from you. Oh, Really? Really. <laughs> oh, and I do have a myth. Because you, oh. you put it into your army list. Yes, so this is a, this this in competitive, so if you're really getting into the mass battle competitive side of, of battles with Joan of Arc, this Inquisitor is a very nice pickup. So I'm hoping for a shield. No. I don't. I get a disrupt. So okay. that's, that's, that's karma for not remembering it at the start of my turn. So I'm absolutely okay with that. So let me see. Do I have anything else I would like to trigger? I don't think so. I've activated pretty much... Everything I want to. I still have a charge token and I still have the, the interrupt blue, blue action. And I could use either of these as a normal action if I wanted. Um, I'm nervous. I'm ner is, this, is this hex, is this area held strongly enough? I hate to, to see you like focus on, yeah, on, on a big hex, especially with these guys. It's, yeah. uh, the, the tricky thing for me, though, by doing this comping is I'm really not benefiting from the, the victory points because right now I'm only getting yeah, one, absolutely. two, three, yeah. which is not fantastic. I need to get out of my deployment. So do you know what? I'm going to be a little silly, I think. I really, it's, it's, I, want to, I want to use my charge token to move out, maybe get an extra hex of point. An extra well, area. you could use your charge not to attack, but simply to move, simply to move. Fast, faster or further, right? I, but, but a charge is so valuable, so I'm, no, I'm going to say, no, that is the end of my turn. I'm not going to do any more activations, and I shall pass the turn to you. Okay, well, you know, I was really expecting to be uh, the attacker, and it completely mm -hmm. changes my, my tactics, and seeing how strong you are here, but focus on just a few... Uh, yes, so at the end of my turn, I only gained one, two... Three yes. victory points. That's you all need I've to write this down. Yeah, I've got it. Yeah. You've got it. Okay, so you've got three victory points. So because of that, I'm going to change slightly what I initially wanted to do, which was to run to <laughs> you and attack you. Maybe right now I'm going to score victory points and maybe wait. Okay. So uh, I'll activate my my big my strong commanders, mm -hmm. uh, and the Antichrist is definitely Antichrist is definitely one of those. He has an, he can uh, command up to two hexes, mm -hmm. four different units. It's not allow you to spread out and move a lot so fast. Two yeah. hexes, that means he can command anywhere, anyone oh. here. So I could command these guys here, 
and three. So I'm going to activate these three guys, mm -hmm. who are my my heretics. Yeah. Well, no, these are the pla uh, no the are the, the flatulents. Yes, yes these are the flatulents. Okay, so they're here. Uh, I've moved three of them with my command. I have. I still have one more. Um, um, one more. Let's let's take this guy so he can be here. I think something you'll notice when you watch the mass battle game is the command has a much larger effect because you have more commanders, more units to command, and it means your flexibility to movement is huge. Absolutely, yes. Uh, and now, so, okay, I've activated four mm -hmm. units, and now um, I can do what they do. To, mm -hmm. this, yes. this command was at the beginning, so this guy's uh, will move. So these are your halberdiers, and of course the antichrist holding the middle. Here. So the halberdiers will protect yeah. the, the Antichrist. It's worth noting the Antichrist is a big unit, of course, it's denoted by, a hit by his model. So he, he's taking up three spaces of the six, which is why only three halberdiers can go with him. Um, the Antichrist does not have an attack ability, but he is incredible in defense, rolling two black die and also adds the black dice to every unit around him. So he's very good at holding certain locations and just issuing commands. And I will reactivate him again. Okay. So, uh, I, I don't care. I'm not very, very frightened mm -hmm. to get, get closer to you with the Antichrist, yes. especially with the Halberdiers, yeah. because one of his, well, he, he adds one yeah. uh, black dice to each of the guy yes. in his area. So it's really, really strong. He was, he yeah. was buffed lately. And it's, yeah, it's worth noting as Leo moves as well, you can do your command, so you're actually issuing orders before or after. And this time I'm doing this after. It doesn't change much because my uh, my command ability mm -hmm. is two hexes, yep. so because I'm, I'm not yep. changing hex, uh, I could do this now. So uh, up to four, uh, up to two hexes, mm -hmm. so one, two. Um, I will have these guys one here, so he's not just alone. And can, can you command? Uh, oh no 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 no, 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 because he is a hero, he's a right. Hero. Uh, sorry, that's a good. Well, I could command, oh, you know what I can do? Mm -hmm. I can move uh, Seguin de Batfol. Although he's a character, he's a mercenary, he's a mercenary. So he can be commanded, yeah. So, I do that, and he will also be able to, uh, to have um, someone move mm -hmm. for it with him. And adjacent. So you're able, so when you get mercenaries, as Leo's thinking about what he's doing here, you can create chains of command. You can command a mercenary who in turn, with the mercenary special rule, can then command other units on the board. Um, in this case, um, he has a, a, an adjacent one unit, so it's not as strong, of course, as the Antichrist, but it gives you um, a, lot of, a lot of flexibility. So, because he's adjacent yeah. to the bear tamer, yeah. the, the bear tamer will oh. move up here. Um, okay, so I moved this guy yeah. and I still have three yes three absolutely. that I could move um, Our brave. can I interest you in a swamp uh, <laughs> not interested in this one <laughs> not really but I'm wondering if um, should I go no they are too strong here I would like to attack these guys but I'm not gonna do that uh, okay so three more mm -hmm. um, let's move let's move some of your peasants are two three okay okay one thing as leo was thinking as well i mentioned i didn't mention at the start of the setup is actually one of the ways you can win a mass battle game is to route your opponent's army which means if you kill it's so not just disrupting or out of actioning if you kill more units than they have currently alive on the board at the end of that uh, turn end of that round they the army will route so for me Trying to maybe pick some of these weaker units and trying to stay away from the strong defensive halberdiers and the ridiculous wounds of Magog might be better for me to try and pick off some of the lighter armored and easier to kill units. Okay, then um, I'm worried about trying to win the victory point thing right now. I've seen how much you can spread out as well. What I will do is activate here yeah. uh, Joan of Arc okay. and uh, the, the guys who are there. So Joan of Arc, uh, once per turn, once she's activated, I can gain. Uh, one replay oh wow uh, and play this order in an area located up to three areas so it's either before or after three sure. areas one two okay 
I will activate uh, this guy. So, so you'll put it there to it, yeah. Well, I could put it somewhere that has already sure. been activated. So it could be here, mm -hmm. but, uh, or I could use it as a normal activation. Yeah. So uh, I have two uh, heretics yeah. who, can move, who can move half haste. Yeah. So they will use this to move two and get here. And so is that two units of spearmen as well you have here? I have two units of spearmen that will simply join the bear tamer. Oh, look at you spread. And uh, where is she going to go? Can I recommend the swamp? No. <laughs> yes, well, you can recommend some, it. At some point, I'm hoping to sell you on the swamp. <laughs> she will move here. Okay. And now I will immediately yes. use her uh, reactivation uh, cube to simply activate the holy relic. The holy relic, when it's activated, I gain either one myth or one experience. Boo! Uh, Boo, false poop. <laughs> Uh, I'll get a an experience point. Now the Holy Relic has a simply massive command of five hexes away, which means on the battlefield he's commanding everything, but only two units. Yeah, you want to change the myth? No, you, 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 <laughs> the, the trick though with the Holy Relic is that he can only command holy units. Yes. And he also will not be able to go into the same uh, area, the same... Uh, position on the board as unholy units so leo does have to balance uh, the other what other holy units do you have leo your 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 uh, flagellants over here these are holy. yes yeah yes. okay well yeah yeah because the holy relic mm. was taken from a, a dead pope yeah so he he's a holy guy but he's using by heretic guys ah, so he's still holy okay. but that means he can't he can be in the, the same, antichrist yes yeah. in the antichrist and uh so because I've moved them now, I, ah. I'm going to use yeah. the Holy Relic uh, command ability. I could move up to two uh, units. Mm -hmm. One thing I think we just need to be careful of is, is, is he a big character or is he a normal sized character? He's a big character. He's a big character. Or, so, yes. Okay. So we One, move. two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so move these can't move. They have so to stay. So we might right. have potentially yes. not got that perfect right. at the start, but it shouldn't impact. Sorry, yeah. you're right. V very, very... That, that, is, that is a very recent change because we've been talking a lot about balancing the mass battle system. Of course, we wanted to show it to everybody before the pledge manager ended, and we've been literally making changes right up to the point we decided to film. So um, we'll ad-lib as we go where we need to. Okay. Uh, one, two, one, two. Uh, okay, the flagellants... Do I have any flagellants mm. that are at reach? Um, yeah, well, he has a reach of five hexes, so oh, he's yeah, going to have yeah, no yeah. problem. No problem. Five hexes, one, two, three. Okay, so they are here, right? I yeah. can move two of them. Okay. Well, oh, oh. Look how many points you're going to get. Uh, it's not finished. I still get two cubes. Mm. I need to go oh. three of her. Oh, is he coming? It's, he is coming. Oh, he's oh my word. He's coming. Okay, so... Oh, oh uh, I don't like that you've got him onto a big hex. Now he can just get defense dice. Oh. So, and he's going to activate uh, four units up to two, two hexes. Mm -hmm. so, so he will ask some people to come help him. Mm -hmm. So these guys. Yep. One. Two, yeah. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. So, okay, I can't have any more than, than these ones, right? Mm -hmm. uh, activated two. I, have, I still have four units up to two hexes yeah. that I can activate. Uh, well, I will activate the mercenary. Mm -hmm. He will come here and he can activate uh, one guy, two, yeah. right? That is adjacent. So okay. these guys will come here. Yeah, I'll pop, pop them in just, just so everyone at home can see. Oh, yeah, pop okay, sure, sure. Um, and uh, I still have one left to, that I can activate mm -hmm. from him. From him, uh, it will be the pikeman who will help uh, okay. these guys. Oh no, he will go here. No, oh, oh, why, my goodness, you're being brave. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I want to score points. Yes, it's clear. And it's, it's no, uh, oh, they could. Oh no, you can't charge them here, right? Uh, yes. Is this a hill? Yes, yes, yes it's, it's a hill. You can't climb. You can't charge. Here. That's good. Um, and finally, I'm going to activate him here. Again? Yes. Okay. So, the Antichrist has an ability. Uh, 
if I spend one myth and roll one uh, black dice, yeah. if I get a shield, one of your unit adjacent uh -huh. to him will oh yes be converted. He's converted, but you have no space. I have no space. Oh, too bad. Okay. Well, next I time, should, next I should time. have left one space. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, never mind. I will simply attack them, uh, and I will attack these guys because okay. they these have retaliation. Yeah. You don't have any retaliation here, so I'm going to attack them. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, the Antichrist has no. Attack dice. Yeah. Uh, yeah, have, these are very defensive. Yes. The halberdiers have white dice, mm -hmm. so that's one, two, three dice. Three units of them. You've got one unit of heretics. One unit of uh, heretics. And the bear tamer. And they have two dice mm -hmm. each. And I have the bear tamer. The bear tamer has one white, white a yellow, one and a red. yellow, and a red. Oh my word. So, into here. Into okay. here. Let's roll it. Where do I roll it? Uh, maybe here. Okay, let me have a look at what I have. Okay, I have one kill. It's not a super good, but it's not too bad either. I have three uh, 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 disrupt and two push, and these two uh, shields are gone. Okay, so my crossbowmen, each of which there are five units in there, each roll a white dice in defense. Uh, my procession monk roll a yellow dice in defense, um, and then I also have the executioner who rolls a white dice in defense, and that is it because I only have seven in there. So yeah, this is you have seven or six dice worth of things. So. Okay, wow, I did not do very well at all. Do I so have you any? Got two shields. Yeah, I don't think I have any way to re-roll well, or... Yeah, well, you, you have your re-roll token if you want. Oh, so I could, with my re-roll token, I could re-roll as many dice as I want, but that would then be gone unless I got it back through a myth card or something like this. Um, oh, man. Oh, do I want to re-roll this? I think I might. I think I might actually want to re-roll this. Oh, those pushes are going to be such a pain. Oh, yeah, do you know what? I'm going to use my re-roll token very early. And I'm gonna reroll all of these. Oh, not not a great decision, I don't think, but we're gonna try. Uh, well, there's two more shields, so that actually worked out as well as I think I could have asked for. So four shields will cancel one, one kill, and then three so disrupt. Yes, and end and up with two, two push. push. And so you choose who. Uh, so I think you choose who put who 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 is pushed, and I choose where they go. You, I choose who, and you choose where. Yes. Yes. Um. Yeah, and is that is that just the rule for pushing, or that's yes, that's the rule for pushing. It's okay. always like that. Okay. Um. So I'm gonna. Oh, that's risky. But you've got no activations left, so I think I'm reasonably safe. I'll have my executioner, my executioner, and my processional monks will be the two that get pushed. So, the executioner yeah. and so. Oh, if you go there, you will score points, but. <laughs> Wow, that was that was kind of lucky, but I'd rather burn my reroll, which is pretty big to do so early. So I have to take off this, mm -hmm. and now I have to count how many victory points I score. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. So at the end of round one, it's currently seven to three in your favor. Okay, one thing to mention as well, at the end of each round, you always have the camp phase, and this is where you'll look to either have your units who've been put out of action to rally, to make their way back to the battlefield on the following turn, or to actually become deceased and die and not make it back to battle. But we had no casualties, no out of actions um, from the last round, so no need to worry about it. So at the start of round two, we first of all need to know how many activation cubes we're going to get. So for this round, we have five. Oh, oh my goodness. This is going to be this is going to be action. Oh, and you still have two cubes. I still have my interrupt, uh, and I still have my my charge. Um, we then have our river cards. So the first river card is simply uh, another normal activation. The second river card is oh, get two myth cards, a myth token, and then discard one of your myth cards. And then the third river is an option of three different trades. You can either have a normal becomes a reactivate, a normal becomes an interrupt. Or you can trade 
a myth or experience token, one way, one way or the other, one for the other. Um, so I must choose first. Um, well, what I'm going to do, I'm going to activate John Chandler's ability that during the council phase I can draw a myth card. So I'm going to do that because I'll maybe see. Oof. Okay, that's interesting for me. Um, what I'm then going to do is I'm going to choose the option to have two myth cards and a myth token. And then I will discard one of my four myth cards. Um, okay. Oof. I think. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm going to get rid of this one. Put it to the bottom of the deck, surely. Which river card would you like, Leo? I was tempting, tempted to take uh, to change uh, to exchange one uh, activation yeah. with uh, an interrupt, but considering I can't uh, corrupt you and convert you yeah. and, and get me here, I will go for the extra activation. Considering you have so just a, a lot, yes. yeah, just a normal black one. Okay. Um. So. I want to say a quick thank you, by the way, just before I start my turn to Laurent. Yeah. Laurent is behind the scenes. Uh, he's handling Leo's webcam. Leo was very nice to let Laurent use his webcam. So he's, <laughs> he's trying to make sure we get a few different Merci angles yeah, of, of the Laurent. battlefield. Um, you'll see lots of Laurent in the future. We very, we very much hope. And we hope, as I say, you guys will forgive us this time that it's a little bit, a little bit shaky at times, a little bit close. We hope you get a good feel anyway. So start of my turn two, I have a couple of triggers. First of all, my Inquisitor is going to roll his black dice, hoping for a shield to hopefully steal one of your tokens. And he gets it, oh, so I can have either thief. an experience or a myth. I have lots of uh, myths, so I'm going to steal your experience. It's because you worship the false pope. The one that is alive. How can he be false? You have no skin. Uh, <laughs> and I'm also going to then trigger John Hawkward's ability. Now, this is something we've been playtesting a little bit with. It's something that we've sort of decided that you can do it at the, at the start of your turn as, as a once per turn thing. And um, I could spend an experience to get another reactivation or I could level somebody up oh I just might change my mind actually hmm. do you know what I'm going to spend these two experience on my turn thank oh. you thank you so much for that and I am <laughs> going to upgrade John Chandos oh. so one of the cool things about this this is why I wanted to pick um, this particular army list I've chosen three characters that all have really interesting um, options so both a holy and an unholy option um, Are it going to be holy or unholy? Well, unholy makes me much more aggressive, potentially doing much more damage. Holy makes me much more defensive. And right now, I think I favour that. It's going to turn Ch uh, John Chandos into a three red dice defence, but it also means at the start of my turn, I gain an experience and I gain an activation token. Now, the downside to uh, getting experienced characters is you do have to pay for them. You have to pay an experience. And upkeep, at, an upkeep. At the beginning, after the river phase, exactly. we have to do it. So he, he'll get me experience, which means he'll essentially pay for himself, which is great. It means he'll kind of look after himself. Right, I have a ton of activation cubes and I have some myth cards. So, oof. I need to do some killing because killing will net me experience. So let's get moving. Um, I'm going to activate this hex. Uh, yes, I'm going to activate this hex. This area. Uh, these uh, warhounds have haste, so they will go one and two to here. These uh, mounted knights will simply uh, move one forward to here, like this. And that is my first order. You don't have any interrupts, so I don't need to worry about you doing anything sneaky, sneaky, which is, which is good. Um, well, I'll have to worry about that when I, when it's my turn. Um, you have just a single unit here, yes? Yes, or, but yeah. you know they have top. They have top. So even if you, if you send plenty of characters there, they could still survive. Even if you gave me five kills, if I roll the right dice, they'll survive. Yeah, I'm hoping. I'm hoping that I can take them out with a small unit. I need to do some commanding. Seeing how much you did with command there last turn was really, really impressive. Um, so let me see. You're t yeah, I need to deal with your tough units while I can. So my next activation is going to be uh, to here. The Black Prince is able to activate one unit one hex away. When he is activated though, I may move my rally point. So this rally point, which I originally set up in my deployment, I can now move, which I will 
into one of your allied areas? It's going to go to here. Okay. Um, also, units in the same area as the Black Prince gain haste 2 if they are mounted, which these oh. units are. Um, I don't know if I need to worry about it, though. <laughs> I think all I'm simply going to do is move everybody forward to here. Oh, there we go. And then you can move me as well. Like this. That is absolutely fine. I'm okay with that. So now I need to reinforce. This This is terrifying. I'm, I, I'm pretty much wanting to just run away from it. Um, so... Yeah, because they are, have like lots of defense, they yeah. have retaliation, um, they can convert you. So yeah, it's definitely my, my strongest position. So next one I'm going to do is activate uh, this area here. I'm going to use Saint Michael has an adjacent command of two. So he's going to command both the Inquisitor and the Bishop, both to pray. Oh. So that will bring in two experience points. That's all. Oh. Um, I also have the newly upgraded John Chandos here, who with win one hex, he can activate two units. Um, he is going to do so, one, two, three, four, five, six, one hex to here, two units of the knights, of the uh, foot knights, and then they will perform their normal activation. And both the angels are going to fly into the sky. Uh -huh. Because you, I believe, are lacking a lot of ranged attack. I actually do not have any ranged attacks. Check so. this out for really awesome. This is one of my favourite things. The angel, St. Michael is a sword and shield, but my other angels has a free hand. And with that free hand, he is going to carry John Chandos. <laughs> so, using the carrier ability, with the ability to fly, angel, St. Michael, beside them, John Chandos held in arms, they're going into the sky <laughs> to potentially drop down into a, a hex. Well, you won't be able to do that in this turn. No, though. no. Um, the two wolves uh, then are simply going to use their haste two to get moving. They're both going to go one and wolf two to here. Yes, this is, this is fine. Okay. So next up, I have two more normal activations left. I need to really prioritize which way I want to go. I'm getting a bit more points, but I, yeah, yeah, the, over here, we're going over here. So, this area, I'm going to declare an all-out attack, and I'm going to split it between each of these hexes. So, um, we shall send three units of foot knights into here, and we shall send the cavalry, and... Mm, uh, yeah, let's send three units of foot knights and the black prince into here, and the three units of cavalry into here. Okay. Okay, so we'll do the cavalry to here first. So each cavalry, each mounted, mounted knight, rolls two red dice. So that's four, so I need eight in total. Well, I don't have any defense. I have support, but you need to be three. Three, so, so the support ability keyword is not there. So, yes, I have two kills. I have... On which one? Four out of action on this one. Okay. Um, and two push. Now, you have to roll, well, no defense dice. No so defense so dice. essentially how this works is a kill will be allocated to each of these. The other ones essentially, the lower, the out of action and the pushes are essentially then not needed. Yes. And you're rolling simply the tough special roll yes. here. So these units are essentially about to be destroyed. And this is not a defense, this is a tough roll. And on a shield, they avoid being destroyed. One shield and one out of action. So one is dead. So one is dead. Now that's important for me because that's a fully dead unit, which means an experience. Yes. And it'll be a victory point in the end. Yeah, at the, at the very end of the game. But the other one stays. Oh, that tough ability is so good. But it's okay. We've got uh, the Black Prince now and the uh, Mounted... Uh, excuse me, sorry. The Foot Knights are going to go in here. So the Foot Knights are rolling two red dice each as well. So that'll be two, two, and two for three units. And the Black Prince himself is also on two red. This is a, he this is a heavy hitting hex. Oh, yes. Yeah. I'm oh, using yeah. a lot of dice to try and get rid of these tough units early. Really, I'm overkilling it, but we see just how the tough can affect this. Yeah, so we've got a kill. Again, you're just rolling so, to see if you can avoid being killed. You're hoping for a shield? I'm hoping for a shield. Oh, not a shield. He's dead. Okay. You want to use your reroll? No. Okay. No. 
So but now you can follow up. Do you want to follow up? No, here's a question. Can I follow up just with the guys that attacked this yes. hex? Yes. yes. Okay. So um, this is a tough decision for me. Um, it would mean I get an extra victory point because I have to control two hexes, but it would split my forces, and I'm not okay with that right now. So, n oh, if I did move in, though, I could activate this hex and then try and kill this unit again. But I, I risk overextending. No, no, I'm not being that brave. <laughs> I, put my, I put the swamp between me and the Antichrist, a defensive position I am happy with. Okay, so I have one normal activation left, one charge and one uh, interrupt. Um, I'm going to try and simply... Oh, I've, I've deviated slightly from my original plan because I really wanted to get away from the Antichrist and I realised... I realise... Oh, I'm not doing that as much as I want to. Oof, this is tough, this is tough. Being on this hill is actually really causing me quite a lot of issues. I do not want to let you convert any of my guys. That would be so brutal. Oh, oh, what am I going to do? Could I, I could attack. If I attack, you're going to be rolling a two, three, four, five, six, seven black dice before any of your other normal defense. And the halberdiers have retaliation. So I'm just not going to risk that. I'm going to let him come to me, I think. Um, I really oh, i am so nervous about you spinning one of my guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply activate the Warhounds and I'm going to declare these two units simply attacking this unit of heretics. Okay, so, so two wolves. Yeah, two Warhounds. These are surprisingly good. They roll a red and a white each. They're not good um, at defense. No. Um, so let's see what we can get out of that. That's one kill, two out of action, so and one shield. No defense roll, but again, they are tough. These are so these are different from the flagellants. These yes. are actually, but they also have no armor. Also tough, slightly different units. Chilled. He stays. God. Dang it! <laughs> Should I declare a charge somewhere? So they are probably bloody and yeah <laughs> but able to shrug it but, off yes but fanatics and they, they stay do you know what i'm going to declare a charge oh. here to move into this area and then to this one well you don't so, even have to so you I'll, could oh you want to you yes i do i do because but i want the wolf will not participate that's in fine the, okay i do not want to be near the antichrist so i'm moving across and attacking here okay this would be ah, you know, for well i want to Probably don't, don't need to, don't need to probably roll. don't need to roll. You only need one killed. I think you will have I it. would prefer out of actions though, because you can't oh, tough yeah, doesn't work right. with disrupt. Yes. I really yes. don't want to see a kill. And I see <laughs> five <laughs> five kills. Come on, okay. please no shield. No shield. No shield. Yes, good stuff. So do you want to follow up? Oh, you you score one yeah. one experience, one experience point. How many experience do I have? I have five. Which means oh, you I could level up. I again. could level up. Uh, I really could level up, but that the, the unfortunate thing though is that would leave me short on experience to pay for my upkeep. So I don't think I shall. Um, well, you only need one. Well, yes. Uh, then if you have another one, you will need two. Yeah. So will I follow up? What it, what could potentially hurt me? Joan of Arc is not far away. You have some spearmen, some peasants. I think they would probably be fine. Yes. Do you know what? Let's follow up. So because. The wolves were not. Two, yeah. You only, can only have up to six units. But the warhorns weren't involved, so they're no, they, they have to hang back anyway. Them, yes. Okay, so the I'll get rid of my activation use because I'm going to keep my interrupt for your turn. Oh, look how this board has changed. Yes. So I've got units in the air. I've just run. This is a situation I'm not happy about. This went well. Happy about this. Um, I have a lot of experience, a lot of myth, a lot of myth cards mm -hmm. um, and you still have one interrupt queue yes and I, so victory points i have one two three four five now so yes. that puts me on sky heights do not count oh so it puts it puts me on eight total and you're still on seven so i've only just caught up with your first round scoring but okay, okay. so start so of your turn, turn two okay so it's my turn and i have many many different options it's uh I think I'm going to do something you're not expecting. I'm kind of expecting you to double down on territory control and just... You know what? Oh, I swamp, mean, swamp. He will go <gasps> to the swamp. So that means he has plenty of guys that he can convert. Okay. And also, because I've moved here, uh -huh. now I can reach there. Mm -hmm. And I will move my four uh, heretics here, because they're very good. So this is so his action is to move and then this is command. command at, yes, yeah. at the end of his uh, activation. Okay. 
And what about the rest of the activation? Oh, they are going to attack. Oh! And they are going to attack here. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. So, that's three halberdiers, mm -hmm. one heretic, and one bear tamer. So, with the two bears. Okay. So, uh, three halberdiers is uh, three white dice. Mm -hmm. Oh, but they have plus one white dice against uh, oh, foot soldiers. Which so is absolutely what's in there. So, so that's three extra. Six white? Six white dice. Then uh, oh. the uh, her heretic, heretic mm -hmm. sorry, yeah. is two white dice. So another two white dice. Yes. Oh, that's very good. Then the bear okay. tamer is one white, one yellow, and one red. Oh. oh my word. This is bad. This could be a dead John Hawkwood. Oh! Oof, uh, not, shields, no, not very good. Oh my word. Not very good, but maybe. Reroll time. Maybe it's reroll time. We'll see. Because, well, I've got like. <sighs> right now I have. Kill a disrupt. Oh, kill two okay, disrupt. Okay, I have people. one kill, two disrupt, three uh, push, and then I have two okay. shields and three blanks. Mm, so, so maybe. I think I will re-roll. Okay. I will re-roll. I, okay. oh, I think it's time. Oh no. my god. <laughs> Look at that! Shields, shields. Only shields. Five, five shields. shields. Oh, wow. What a <laughs> terrible re-roll. Okay, never mind. So this it's... is important for me now because I have I do have retaliation on the foot knight. So that's one black dice for them. I have white dice on John Hawkwood. Um, on the wolves, then I have two yellow. So I'll roll the retaliation first. Uh, I, don't, I think I can roll this together. I don't think there's any re-rolls, is there? No, and it's the only black dice. So the black dice has a, a retaliation on it. So black dice isn't out of action. Uh, I get one push, which will not be anything, and one shield. So you only have one shield. So, so you cancel the kill. Uh, like the kill yeah. But you still have two out of, uh, well, two disrupt and three pushes. Okay, so what I'll do, because there's a little rule that I want to really show off here. So I'm going to grab your dice for a second so we can show this. So I'm going to put um, out of action on the wolf, out of action on the wolf, push on the foot knight, and a push on John Hawkwood. And then, actually, let's change this up just slightly. Let's do it this way. Um, it's very, because you must allocate uh, one at a time on each unit. And, and then, then the, the rest is lost. Yes, and then I will put another push on this one. No, no, you will uh, not put another Ah, uh, the rest is lost? Okay. Yes, the rest is lost. So, oh, um, wait, wait. Yeah. Does he have more than one hit point? Uh, he has two, yes, actually. So, so yes, he yes. does have to take that push. Yes. So, what I'm then going to do is these Warhounds have bodyguard. So, yes. each one of them may take a dice from another unit. So, this one will take the out of action from the Foot Knight. Yeah. And this one will take the out of action from John Hopwood. Okay. Yeah. So, essentially, I'll lose uh, one wound. I oh, know he's just simply a push, so he's fine. So he's he, a push, uh, you have but to if push he him. doesn't want to to be pushed, he yeah. can take a wound instead. My choice. Yes, it's your choice. Uh, I I will let the push happen, um, okay. and then simply these these units are both going to go out of action. So he will go here. So the body the bodyguard ability kicking in and helping it's, me yeah, see him yes, a little better. It does leave those foot knights kind of a little bit lonely in the middle there, but but that's okay. I knew this was a weak point, but I'm not going to worry too much about it. Oh, you have his ability. I have his ability. Yeah. Now I can try mm -hmm. and convert one of yeah. your guys, and I'm going to do that. I need to pay a myth token. A myth token. Yeah. And then if I roll a shield, mm -hmm. then you're converted. Which which unit are you after? Oh, I have a shield. Oh, so you just yeah. Yes, I have a shield, so any of these units yeah. can be converted, oh. and I will convert one of Brutal. Your Yes, so now he's with me. Oh, the Antichrist is compelling. Yes, he says, yes, come to come the swamp. Come, the swamp is very come nice. One. <laughs> come with the real Pope. Not the false Pope, the real Pope. Okay. The one that is on, on this uh, horse here, right? You see this one? He looks pretty good. He's held up by a stick. He doesn't even have a, oh, he does have a backbone, but he doesn't have any muscle. <laughs> well, what I'm going to do, Leo, because I believe that's the end of your oh. activation. Oh, oh no, no! Yes, yes, it is the end of my activation. Are you going to interrupt? I am going to interrupt. I'm going to say, "Oh, Antichrist, I'm happy to come to your swamp. Let me come visit you 
promptly. And this entire hex is going in here. Okay, okay. Yes, I wanted, of course, as you, you guessed, mm -hmm. I wanted to add guys to him, to his hex, but I can't now. All right. Well, you can in a moment if he's alive. I will allow you to if he survives. I hope he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good opportunity. I don't think I'll be able to take him out. He does have four wounds and he does roll two black dice, but hopefully I can put some, some real hurt in here. So, uh, I'm rocking two red for each of the cavalry units, uh, which will be eight. Two red for each of the uh, foot knights. We'll have to maybe do this a little bit separately. Um, and then also uh, two red for um, the black prince. So I'll do the cavalry first and see what I can... Uh uh, so there's a couple of shields here that I can use, because we're using prototype dice, of course. So the <laughs> foot knights then, um, I still need one more red. Um, let's just simply remember that I have three other warriors as well. Let's do this. So these are the foot knights, three units of these for six red. Um, that is a lot of stuff. Okay, so now I'm up to five of those. Oh my goodness. And then I have the Black Prince himself, um, who gets... Um, Kill. So now there's six of those. Okay, so I have five kill, I have six disrupt, and three push. Oh my <laughs> god. Okay, so <laughs> let me roll for defense. So the Antichrist has two black. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah I have the card for the foot knights because you still tell them. me. They have a black and they'll get an additional black from your Antichrist ability. And they have the... Retaliation. So retaliation. roll the two dice separately. So two dice for Antichrist and then two dice for... So these are the, the guys for the... Uh, the foot knights. See if they can do anything in retaliation. Oh, they have one out of combat. Okay. So and one, one shield. And one shield. So that'll get rid of one of the kills. So one shield. And one out of combat to come my way. And then the Antichrist. Another shield. Okay, so that'll get rid of another kill. And his, his out, of, uh, out of action disrupt does not count because he doesn't have retaliation. So, so we need to put, so how many kills? One, no. two, and then a three, a third one here. And then you have six out of actions. So six out of actions, which means, uh, well, he will take wounds until yeah. he's, so he will take one, which is another wound. Yeah. So that's three wound, wound tokens. Yeah. And then the last one, because he's down to one, means that he goes out of action. Out of action. So he's out of action. Oh. And I had to and kill this, one of my uh, own and, units. And this one is, is dead. Is dead. Yeah. I had to kill one of my own units. Now, do you think that'll get me an experience? Yes, because yes, now technically he's part of mine. Uh, so my army. So you get. But it'll definitely not count for victory points at the end because no. it was not. And I, I also Actually, had a. He could he could count as a victory point for me. Oh yes, I like this. I like this. Yeah. Um. Now you did do an out of action to me, which I will simply take as a wound onto the Black Prince, rather than having any of my units go out of action. So he is down from two wounds to one. Okay. All right. Now I'm not going to. The good up, thing is way. you're not falling. No. Up. Okay. Well, the good thing now is that you're not going to interrupt. The good thing now is the Antichrist is over there. I know. <laughs> Uh, well, do you have one that is... I took it as a wound. You took it as a wound, okay. And this is what I wanted to know. Okay, well, that's, that's bad because... That was that, that... Without the blue cube, that would have been so different. That, that was just... Oh, yes. A, a lucky yes. opportunity for me to, to be able to do that. Well, he, he might come back. Yes, we should mention the rule of the Antichrist. Is that yes. even, yeah? Well, well, he's immortal. So even if you roll the death symbol during the camp phase, he, he will, will not. Yeah. But, but he if will you, remain here. But I will get experience for him if you roll the death symbol. Because if I do actually successfully kill him, then I'll get his experience. Is that right? Yeah. No. Well, you will get experience mm -hmm. if he is in the out-of-combat uh, area, well, in the infirmary at yeah. the end of the... Of the uh, the scenario. Ah, okay. Uh, well, I get victory points if he's in there. Oh, yeah, 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 but do yeah, I get yeah, experience yeah. now? Yes, yes. yes. So how many experience points do I get for taking out uh, a character? Three. Three. Ah, fantastic. Can I have a big three then, please? Thank you. And this is this is usually you get experience when you kill a unit. 
Yeah. But because he's immortal and can't be killed, you essentially get the experience points for putting him out. Again, it's worth noting, as Leo was thinking about the, the rest of his turn, we are still playtesting. Literally, uh, yesterday when we tried this scenario, we, we decided to make some buffs and some changes. Um, this is all part of, part of the process, so I'm sure you guys understand. So, at the moment, with immortals, which, and there are ghost immortals, um, I believe... Um, Judgment is immortal as well. You know, there's a few different characters that have this rule, so we're going to work out what's best. Okay, I okay. will activate here. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Joan of Arc and uh, mm -hmm. the two pikemen and uh, Sigan the Batfold, so yeah. my mercenary will move. Uh, Joan yeah. of Arc will get a uh, Reactivation. Uh, that she. Fantastic. Oh, maybe it's not the, the right moment to do that. You can leave her to later on. Later on. Yes. Yes. I'm not. I'm sorry. I won't do it's that okay. now. It's fine. Uh, I will do that later because then yeah. I could reactivate yes. something that I have uh, activated. What I will do instead is uh, activate these guys. Mm -hmm. Right. Yep. Oh, one, two, three, four. Oh, <laughs> well, yes, please take it from how, here. How many? How many uh, have I, a... Yes, I think, uh, yeah, I think you put it back here by mistake, I think. Because okay. you had five and you took an additional one, so yes, this is right. Oh, okay. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's right. You should have had okay. six this round. Okay, so these uh, will attack here. Oh, that's yes. brave. That is brave. These will attack here. Now, I have terror one on the Black Prince. Okay. Which means so, I roll a yellow dice, and on a push symbol... Oh, you know what? Yeah? Oh. The Antichrist had terror two, we forgot. Oh. That means you attack him, but uh, <laughs> maybe it wouldn't... Four be more out of action? Yeah. It's, it's okay. We forgot. Yeah. When you forget, well, it's it's your fault. He has terror two. And so that would have been, that means two yellow dice, and for every push you would have gotten, you would have stopped a unit attacking. Which means you could have essentially stopped maybe two or even four red dice from that attack. I think there was still probably enough left over, but it... Yes, yeah. it's okay. Well, um, it's okay. That's part of the thing. So the one for the Black Prince is just Terror 1. and um, So he is going to get a push, which means I may stop one unit from being able to attack. They're all the same, so just one of the four um, heretics can't go in. Well, which is unfortunate, because I counted on number. Because uh, they, they have six... That would have been eight... Uh, white dice, mm -hmm. this time it's only six. I'm going to make a quick inter uh, interrupt if you don't mind. I'm going to spend a myth token to play initiative. When defending, one of your units gains retaliation until the end of the attack. So I have retaliation on the uh, three units of foot knights that are there, but I'm also going to give retaliation to... Uh, uh, to one of the other characters, to, to, uh, to the Black Prince. So he is going to get uh, retaliation on his black dice as well. Oh. Are you kidding me? No, what happened? Well, I Lot have of shields. Oh. Lots of shields. I have only two out of action. Can't we roll? But okay. your 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 the your holy relic could potentially get your reroll back for you. And yes, say. yes, yes. She it, it has reroll. Uh, so yes, when I activate uh, my yes my my relic, I will get my reroll yeah. token back. So, did you roll for defense? No, yeah, all of my units are very strong in defense. The Black Prince, the Foot Knights, and the Mountain Knights all roll a single Black Dice in defense, so I have eight different units. The retaliation will be on the three Foot Knights and now the Black Prince from that card. So I'll roll the Cavalry first with no retaliation. Uh, wow, and I rolled a kill, that would have been the better one. And then I roll four with retaliation. Uh, oh, that actually was also pretty good too. So in total I have three shields. What does that negate? Well, uh... Well, then oh. it's, it's enough not to have anything. And and then I have two kill and three out of action coming back. Two kill. Well, they will get tough. Yes, and three out of action. Two out of action. Yeah, two out of action that will be remaining. Okay, so these are out of action. And then two kill, I need to roll. Two black dice, yeah. Two black dice. So and shield we'll keep them. Yeah. Two shield, they stay. It shows the strength of retaliation. Um, it, it's, it's really, really really strong when you have a, a clump of retaliation units together and I'm glad I spent that myth token. Okay, that was that was bad. They, they, they are very, very strong. Alright. Okay. Um, let's 
difficult. V is difficult. I'm going to activate these guys. So. Mm -hmm. Time to get my gog into the action, to be honest. Yes, it is. Okay, so he will come here. Oh. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, mm -hmm. six. Right, and this guy will go here. Yeah. Wait. I will have the halberdiers. So it's it's three, and then this is one. Th this is one. And then yes, that's yes. One, yeah. This is one. Okay. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Oh, you get three faces there? Yes. Okay. So I will, I will try. Uh, now I activate them here. Yeah. So he will move here. So he's now with them. Is there some vengeance you're now bringing? <laughs> <laughs> uh, one, two, three, yep. four, five, six. six. Yep. So okay. it's, it's, it's good. And these will go to the swamp. Oh, I knew you liked the swamp. <laughs> <laughs> and now uh, I will do what I wanted to do mm -hmm. earlier, but didn't. I will play here. Okay. So this time. Here, mm -hmm. Joan of Arc and the other guy. Yeah. Uh, he can move, uh, he can have an adjacent, well, he, he can command an adjacent yep. unit. Absolutely. Uh, it will be one of the Ooh. halberdiers. Okay. Right? So that means now mm -hmm. I'm, I'm Yeah, here. yeah, absolutely. Uh, she gets a re. Um, a reactivation yep. cube and she can three hex. Do you no. go up to three hexes away as well as you command? Yeah. Yes, up to three <coughs> hexes. So it will be one, two, three. It could be here, right? I will I will try that. So Joan of Arc has a command ability. Mm -hmm. uh, so she will command one unit, which will be this one, and they will attack here. Oh nice. Yes. So the bear tamer will attack one this and this. Okay. All right. Um, yes, I think that's fine. I hope. Oh, uh, one out of combat. Okay, so I have a one black dice with foot knight. They do have retaliation. They get a kill. Um. <laughs> okay, so you're out of combat. So you, you take him out of action. But he, but he get, oh no! Oh, that was that's not a good experience yeah. for a kill. Yeah. I don't like you. That's two foot knights gone though. The foot knights are the backbone of my army. Well, they could come back. Do you want to? Oh, you can't pull out this. Okay. I, well, yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. So where's the reactivation cube? Going? The activation cube is here. Is so. Magog about to be super brave? Super brave? Yes. That's it. <sighs> so, you want to. You wanna well Are you going in here? Yes, Is this yes. Oh my word. So how many dice does McGog get? He's two red. Well you have a terror, right? Oh yes, of course. Terror one. Terror so one. So I'll see if right. uh, we get a push. We do not. No. Okay, so McGog has one white, yep. two red, mm -hmm. and one black. Uh, here you go, here there, and there, there. And then you have And then I have four whites for my yep. heretics. Okay. Oh, and once during an opponent's turn, mm -hmm. remove one dice from an attack rolled by enemy units in an adjacent hex. So that'll be next turn. Next right turn. Okay. All right. Um, that's uh, a little better. better. Yes. Well, yes, you have... Oh, yeah, that's not bad. You have... Oh, gosh. One, two, three, four, five out of action and one push. Okay. So I've got... All black, uh, every unit in there rolls a single black, and the retaliation though is on the foot knight, so three with retaliation. 
uh, gives me two shields and an out of action. And then five normal uh, will give me uh, two more shields and a oh, kill that will not do anything. Um, so I have four shields. Four shields. And one out of action is being returned as well. Okay, four shields. That still gives you one out of action and one push. Okay, so the out of action um, we will give to unit of cavalry. Sure. Right here. Okay. Uh, so yeah, pop them in the All right. infirmary. And then I have one push to allocate. Um, that's, yeah, another unit of cavalry I think we'll just simply pop. Well, oh no, you get, you get to choose, sorry. I get to choose where they go. Uh, so here, here, where is that? Here. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay, and then, and you, then you I have, have a, one out of yeah, action, right? Exactly. Uh, one out of action? Uh, well, I will put one wound to... Magog? To Magog. So he has six wounds left. He's absolutely fine. Absolutely. Okay, and I still have, well, my last activation. So you could keep it if you really wanted to, or... Because oh, you can I save can. up to three between rounds. Well, I'm going to use to activate my relic, okay. because when I do that, I can have something and I want to be able to uh, to use some of my abilities. Yeah. So I will use, I will get a midpoint. Which hopefully thanks, I can steal, thanks from you. To steal from you later, hopefully. Oh, I will use my reroll ability. Yeah. So I get my, my reroll yeah. token back mm -hmm. thanks to my relic. Uh, I can command uh, a holy unit up to well five her five areas. So yeah. that's pretty okay. Well, did you kill my flagellants? Oh yes, you did. I only have one left. Hmm. So uh, they will move. Mm -hmm. They will move here. Yep. Yeah. Here, one, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. Okay. Very good. Uh, and I can, I can, I can move these guys if yep. I want it. Yep. Is it really worth it? Well, yeah, I could move them here because here I can re-roll. Re re-roll defense dice. Oh, yeah. well, I don't have any defense dice, so it doesn't really <laughs> make any difference. Or I could move here. Is it really worth it? Or I could attack, but... There's no, not the retaliation is too scary. I think for yeah. one for one unit. For one unit, I will move here okay. because I, it could allow me to reinforce, use, to yeah, reinforce yeah, if necessary. So I think it's a better position. Uh, I think we're done. Let me count uh, the the victory mm -hmm. points. So, what are the victory so points? You had seven you? initially. So now you have eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15. Plus this one. Uh, not in your deployment zone. Oh, yeah. So fi so it's 15 to 8 on victory points at the moment to you. We now need to do the camp phase. This yes. is very important. Because yes. You, I've got quite a lot to roll. You've got quite a lot to roll. Um, who do you want to go first? Well, no. let's go from for mine. Okay. So mine are the blue ones, right? Yeah. So you have two units of the flagellants. Okay, flagellants number one. He's coming back. Okay. So into your rally point? Yes. Flagellant number two. Oh, he's dead. Ah, so I will get experience for that now. Awesome. And then my Antichrist. Yep. Yeah. This is big. This is important. He can't die, but does he come back? He comes back! Oh. Yes! Oh, I feel ah. so much, so relieved. So whenever uh, a character comes back, we'll put a little token on him just for now to basically represent that he's come back and they have one wound left. It's just an easy way for us to confirm because they don't come back with their full, their no, full wounds. No. But he's still back yeah. and it's a very good news for me. Okay, so now, I have four units. Yes, so, so what do you, who do you start with? Yeah, we'll start with the Mounted Knights. We get a timer, so that means next turn okay, they will rally. Uh, I would love these uh, so foot knights back. Foot knights come back. Oh. Awesome. Warhounds, uh, number one, get a timer, so they'll be back next round. And the next round of Warhounds comes back. Wow. Well, you're much luckier than I was. Luck of the Irish playing an English army. It doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> but okay, so end of round two. That wraps us up, and we'll get into round three. Okay, so start of round three. 
Uh, well, let's find out how many activations we have. We have five. Oh. <laughs> okay, this is going to be a bloody round. <laughs> yes, because uh, so everybody is. Five five on. Yeah, Thank you. Go. Everybody is. Um, five for me. For the river, then, we have. We can move our deployment and rally a unit. Well, I. You don't have any units in the infirmary right now, so you could have a charge token instead, or you can have an interrupt order, or you can actually destroy an enemy standard order. Okay, okay, this is cool, this is cool. Um, What's your choice? I have quite a lot of things to do here, I think. So I'm going to... Oof, I think I'm going to take the rally point. Will I take the rally point? Oh. If you take the rally point, you immediately rally get a point. unit back. I have those, both those units are coming back though. So I feel like my options here, because I'm way behind on points, but it's 15 to you, 8 to me. So my options are either spread out, try and recruit some losses, um, kind of take a defensive position and get some points, or go for the kill and try and take out more than half of your units to try and make you uh, right. Um, and I feel like I have a lot of potential down this flank with the cavalry against the spearmen, the peasants, and this wide open Gilles de Ray. <laughs> I, I think this attack, a, offensive is potentially the way I might have to go. So the rallying is something that could help me do more now. Um, but then again, I do love, we've seen the power of having the interrupt token. It, the interrupt order can completely decimate if timed correctly. So I'm going to take the interrupt order, actually. Uh, yes, I'm going to take the interrupt order. Oh. Uh, as for me, I will take the interrupt order as well. Ah, okay. A little bit of my own medicine, potentially. Yeah. Um, so I have to then pay upkeep, because I have one character, John Chandis is John Chandis is upgraded, so I'll spend experience for him. Um, I'm going to do a couple of things then at the start of my turn. So first of all, I'm going to use my Inspiration Myth card, which costs two Myth tokens. It says at the start of your turn, gain an additional order of your choice. So I will spend those two myth in that card, and I will grab myself an additional charge order. Uh, at the start of my turn also, John Chandos gives me one normal activation cube and an experience. Oh. He basically pays for himself. I have a real... The, the, the characters I've, I've chosen, how I've, I've decided to upgrade them, has developed a little engine here, which is, which is yeah. really good. Um, John Hawkwood then has a once per turn. I can spend an experience to get... An interrupt token so i will spend an experience <laughs> and this this is showing how the army list and army building is going to yeah. allow you to create little cohesions and um, i went with more less command heavy units and more special power heavy units yeah and um, i also have a start of turn at ability on my inquisitor so this is a black dice looking for a shield to hopefully steal your myth counter and it is a shield oh no <laughs> <laughs> debilitate the antichrist ability to convert people i'm okay with that I have a ton of experience, so I'm now going to spend five of those experience. One, two, three, four, five. That's a three under there as well. Yep. Um, and that is going to allow me to take the uh, angel, Archangel of St. Michael, and take him to level two, which will give him extra dice in attack, and also <laughs> allow me to spend an experience token to gain an interrupt order. Again! So... Once per turn, you spend one experience gain So I gain, managed to gain an activation and two interrupt purely from upgraded and, and purchased list to try and do as much decimation in this next turn as possible. And I think this is... The other option, I could have been much more gentle and spread out for points, but I think going for the kill now, I think is the way... I have a chance. I have a chance now. Before, before Magog really gets into me, I think this feels like the thing I need to do. Okay. Okay, here we go. So... Um, uh, I'm also going to spend uh, a myth card for gift. At any time, gain one myth or one experience. Uh, so I will take that as a myth. Oh, gosh. How many cubes do you have now? So now I have six of the normal activation, one charge, and three interrupts. That's ten cubes. Well, it's twice as much as mine. Oh, no. You I have six. six. Yes, I have six. Um, okay, so let's start this. First of all, standard activation in the sky area. So I have... In Archangel St. Michael, the angel also carrying uh, John Chandos, and we are going to fly down into this free space right by Gilles de Ray. Mm, okay. I think you know what's coming next. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to move here. <laughs> <laughs> You've been reading my strategic notebook. <laughs> I'm afraid not. On this occasion, um, all three are going to be declaring an attack on Gilles de Ray. 
Well, he's in the forest, so he can re-roll a defense uh, a defense die. Yeah. Um, so Archangel uh, St. Michael comes with a Slayer tra- uh, Terror 2 Retaliation. So he, he is going to be rolling 3 red and 2 white. The Angel uh, herself will be 1 red and 1 white. Yes. No, not more because I'm not evil yet. No. <laughs> um, and then finally we have uh, John Chandos who is 1 black and one red because I went with the defensive upgrade for him rather than for the um, the offensive. So. Okay, I have three wounds. Okay. Three hit You'll get to defend at least. Does he have any special abilities that might uh, help you? Well, once per turn, I, if I spend one uh, myth, I can rally one disrupted unit in his in my area. Ah. And when attacking, I re-roll a, a, a yellow dice, but it's so okay. So in this case, no. no. Okay, so uh, some blanks on the white. So we have uh, two kill. Uh, we have two um, disrupt, and we have two push. Okay. So uh, the only one you you keep are oh no no I first defend yes you, you're right. you have your I first dice. defend I have my black dice, yeah. and I can you roll if needed. You can. This is important, yeah. This. No, I'm going to re-roll because I'm in the forest. Yes, perfect. No, no. So, so we have kill, kill, two kill and then that's two wounds, and then that's one disrupt. Uh, disrupt. So he will be he will take two wounds and be disrupted okay. and go to the. And do we take the experience for this now, or do we wait until he has killed? Because he's not oh, immortal. No, 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 no. We wait no, until he has killed. killed. Yeah, it was no. specifically because we did that specifically yes. for the Antichrist because he is immortal. Um, okay. And then, if you want, you can follow up. Please, yes, if you wouldn't mind moving me in because I all oh, of them. I, yes, please. I may want to activate them again. So. Um, yes. Okay. I think yeah. having them move is, is probably for the best. Okay. Uh, I think next then we have a, a reasonably simple decision in down here. And yep. we're going to activate the text uh, of this area and all four will we'll attack we'll the, the, the peasants. The, the angry per, peasants. The poor angry peasants are about to get charged down by mountain knights. We were just here for the fanatics and the, the fragrancy. <laughs> just... Oh, yes. they. Um... Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is... Sorry, little peasants. Oh, well, no, it's pretty bad. Um, two kills, four out of act, uh, four disrupts, oh, one push. Well, they, w- they, will, they might not be all kill. Do they have defense? They don't have defense, but they have cohesion. So if there are three of them, okay. they have one uh, white, die. white die. No. Shield? No. No, no, no. That's a push. Oh, so okay. two will so die. So two will die. And one so will get You will get two experience points. And one is disrupted. And I will follow up. Um, no problem with these. Okay. So I'm pretty happy. That's what I wanted on the left flank. I now need to think, is it run or is it fight Magog time? Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the idea of fighting your halberdiers straight on. They're better in defense than they are in offense. Because they roll a white in offense, but they roll a red and white retaliation in defense. They're actually way worse to attack into and be attacked yes, by. Yes, these are the so typical uh, defense. Stand, yeah, yes. absolutely. So I think, uh, oh. man, having having this battery of the Inquisitor and the, the Bishop together to both pray and give me these these tokens have been great. But now I'm out of myth cards. I'm feeling a little, feeling a little like I'm missing something special. Joan of Arc is looking awfully. Oh awfully wait, open. wait. Yes. You finished your first move. Or oh, I sorry. Yeah. You did two, 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 three. You know, you want to jump in. Yeah, normally you should wait oh, sorry. after. It's Why okay. Not? It's not no. a problem. Uh, you know, well, you moved here. Yeah. Uh, I could have maybe run. Run. Uh, that would maybe could have been not the the, the best <laughs> thing to do. Uh, You have your Antichrist back, we could give you a lot of mobility. But yes, I will interrupt. I think okay. it's, it's the right moment. Um. Yeah. I think I will move them. Oops. 
here to here. Okay. Is there anything anywhere where I could do something? No. I think this is a better because now mm -hmm. they have one more guy. I yeah. have a reroll. Uh, and the only place where you can move, you, you can't be that many. Yeah. So I think it's, I'm in a better position here. I feel like you're spreading out is definitely more beneficial to you. Me, I, I need to be in clumps. Um, and now, yeah. Okay, all right, fair enough. Um, that so you, if you want to go here, it will take you longer. Yeah. You'll have to split or you will have to attack my- through the uh, swamp. Then. Or through the swamp yeah. and the halberdier. So I think this is- Yeah, I've pretty much abandoned this uh, side, but on this one, I'm, I'm, I'm good. Okay, okay. Um, I don't think. Okay, I've changed things slightly actually. Because um, yes, this is a more diff far more difficult hex with the, the two houses and the split hex to go through. Um, I feel like I need, I need more command here really badly. So I think it's easier. So six, seven, eight. There's a regroup. Command is what I have. Yeah, and I, and I feel like I'm lacking. Mm -hmm. um, Man, you really, you really made me rethink what I want to do now. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna. Uh, will I be cautious or brave? Cautious or brave? I think maybe brave. <laughs> I think maybe brave. The spearmen, their strength is when they attack mounted infantry. Is that right? Yes, they, they get an extra dice when they attack. Uh, so I'm gonna activate this hex right here. You mean all? You yeah. mean the pikemen? The pikemen, sorry. Yeah, I keep calling okay. them spearmen. Yeah. You know I mean? The pikemen mm -hmm. are stronger against uh, the mounted. Yes. Okay. So yeah, I'm definitely. going to I'm going to activate this area, and I'm actually going to use uh, the angel's ability to uh, fly to. So the, okay, they will jump. So the angel, well, the, only the angel will will jump essentially two hexes to here. Just one. Just one. Yeah. Um, then Saint Michael will simply move into here. Yeah. Uh, and then followed by John Chandos into here as well. That is, okay. That is fine. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, this is okay. Yeah. Then I will activate, uh, the, yeah, uh, oh, you have no more interrupts, that's okay. So I will uh, activate this hex, yeah. and I will move uh, to here. Okay. Yeah, so uh, let, me, let me just get this right. I'll go here with them, and then uh, the angel will go uh, jump to two to here, yeah. What about these two guys? Uh, they will both go to here as well, yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to declare a charge. From here, yeah, and this charge will go to here, and then in. So a charge for all the knights to go here and in, but for John Channels, he is simply going to move into that area. Is there enough room? Yeah, this just be six. Yes, six. Yeah. Okay. So basically, the uh, Saint Michael and John Channels are just standing here, but the the four uh, units of mounted knights are charging into Joan of Arc and the S pikemen and the mercenary and the mercenary. Yes. So any defense, is there any terror or anything like this? We'd be yes, you have terror. Okay. Uh, Joan of Arc has terror one, so I will write, I will a yellow, roll a, a yellow for a push. Yeah, for push. Yes, yes, that's a push. So one of the units of knights that are attacking essentially is not is attacking. Not, okay, so yes. two red he's, dice here. He says, oh, it's Joan of Arc. I it's too, too much, too, too much. much. Can't attack her. Okay, any other abilities on the mercenary? Nope, because I need I need uh, myth cards and any retaliation. Um, well, I have General Park, uh, Topper, Mercenary, Ruthless Engineer, Parry. Well, he has Parry. Ah, so his dice will potentially be rerolled. So we need to yes. do this separately. Yes. And uh, then the Pac-Man, right? No, 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 no. They have cohesion, but that's yeah. it. Well, I rolled reasonably poorly. I got one fail and two disrupt. Oh. So what are your defense? So my defense for Joan of Arc is one black. Yeah. For Sylvia de Bedfall it's a, a, a white, and then two black, two yellows, and I can re-roll the white. Yes. Right? Okay. Because of the parry yep. ability. And I have no 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 retaliation. Oh, well, you want a blank? So that's a good re-roll. <laughs> no, no shield. Mm -hmm. oh. Ah, oh, okay. shield with yeah. the reroll. That's good. So, no okay. kill, no kill, and just three out of action. Oh, three disrupt. This is not as bad as it could have been. So, uh, 
um, three out of action. So uh, Joan of Arc will take one wound. Yeah. Uh, Seigneur de Batfold will take one wound. Yeah, and the then one needs to go out of action. One needs to go out of action. So one of these guys goes out of action. Okie dokie. Okay. Well, you know, this is. I should have kept my my blue to go from there, from here to here. Yes, because I know what you're going to do now. Definitely. This entire hex. Yeah. Just a plan you just hit now. Okay. Uh, so Terra again. We will. Uh, yes, I roll my. This this could prevent. Yes. A- any of the characters. Yes, any of the characters. No. No. And I have my re-roll uh, token. Oh, yes, but Ugh. no, it's not worth it. No, it's, it's, the odds are too low. No. So four units of, of Monty Knights will be, will be this. Uh, St. Michael is a beast on himself, so I'll do him after. Um, he does have Slayer, which is very important to note here. And then also, uh, John Chandis. Uh, can I have another red, please? Yeah, that's um, I do, yeah. So I'll do all the knights and John Chandos first, and then I'll do uh, St. Michael after. Uh, so, oh my goodness. Oh, that was just annoying. I just hit <laughs> three beside this. So St. Michael is three red and two white. Uh, okay. Now, whenever you have Slayer, if I'm right, a kill on a Slayer if I want to. Um, well, oh, no, it's automatically counts as two kill results. Well, yes, when, but when assigned. When assigned, when so assigned. you need to see, so you have to put them uh, aside. Yeah, it's because I could, if I roll some uh, some shield, I Ab- could absolutely. Yes. So so this is as we stand. We have uh, two kill and a kill which has the slayer rule attached. Oh, I'm sorry, three kill and and uh, one that has the slayer attached. Then we also have five disrupt and two push. I have one shield. So, so rid of that one yeah. absolutely makes yeah. sense. Um. So yes, you have a total of uh, of five, uh, three kill, five disrupt, two push. So let's first see with the kill. So one to Joan of Arc. Three kill. Yeah. Interesting. She's tough, so she's going to essentially be able to absorb. Oh no 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 no! She only has one wound. Ah yes. But yeah, this is okay. So she can. Yeah. Well, so essentially, it's, it needs to be this. It needs to be. I have no choice. Yeah. How many? Two, two kill um, or three kills? Uh, the, well, it was three, three kills. Three kills. Three so kills. I have to, I have yeah, to and do then, that. And then this will go to here. Yeah. Yes. So, yes. Yes. So he is. Uh, well, they are killed. Yeah. Chance. She is killed, but she has, has a the chance tough. to toughen, shrug it off. Let's so see. need a shield and a black dice. This is big. No. No. Oh, I will reroll. This is. Yeah. This is. Oh, Joan. Oh, Joan. No. Oh, Leo, no! <laughs> dead. She's dead, She's dead. dead. Oh. She's dead. Nice. So I get and three he, and for he, killing a, a character? Yes, and he is out of action. Uh, oh. You know, I should have kept my reaction, reaction to go here, because it would have made it very different. Um, it's okay. It's I, will, okay. I will follow up as well. And then, oh wow, what now, what now, what now? Okay, um, I, oof. Yes, I'm going to use one of my interrupts for this area to activate John Hawkwood. He has a one hex um, command for two units, so he's going to move these two um, warhounds to here, yeah. and then all together they are going to group here move into here to, to just firm up that position somewhat because I'm not particularly happy with that and that will be the end of my turn so what is your victory for oh, now? so um, I have so I was on previously on eight so now I'm on nine ten uh, eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen Fifteen. Fifteen. So I'm I'm now on the same score as you, but you have a, a turn in hand in terms of the victory points. But I currently have quite a lot of points at the end of the game. Kills count as two, so there's a lot of points there at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. So on to your what is essentially your turn three. It's my turn three. 
Okay, so it's my turn. Turn and three, yeah. Turn three, and I can see that you have two blue cubes, mm -hmm. so uh, I know you could interrupt me after anything I do. So but I must, I must wait for you to activate. Yes. And I can only interrupt once after each activation, so yeah. I can't do both in a row. No, 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 no. But I'm pretty concerned because that was a very strong uh, turn for you. I'm not going to do anything with those those interrupts. I'm just going to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> like I believe you. <laughs> You and your false pope. <laughs> fake so news. Fake, fake news, Leo. Fake news. Fake scrolls. Thing is, you could yeah. attack me here, and I don't want this to happen. So this is going to be, it may sound silly, but this is going to be a... Defensive repositioning. A defensive <laughs> re repositioning. So I'm going to move these guys and move them backwards. All together? All together. Okay. So just it's here. yeah, it's it's tricky because right now the both both the Antichrist and uh, the Holy Relic are very defensible. They can't their offense is not great. No. Um, so yes, I think that that seems the good thing with this is that the Holy Relic gives me one uh, myth point, myth token. Okay. Oh, and, sorry. Yes, yes, and I might I might need those later on. Do you, would you like to donate it to the Inquisition? Oh, <laughs> please stop with that. <laughs> The combinations you're going to be able to come up with <laughs> with army building are really interesting for me. He could command a, a holy unit. The only one left is this one, and I don't see the point of moving it. So I think it will be it will be it. Do you want to interrupt? Uh, no. I, uh, these halberdiers are not something I really particularly want to be running into. Um, I'm not going in there anytime soon. So, no, I'm fine for now, thank you. Okay, so in that case, what I will do is another repositioning, and it will be with my Antichrist. Okay. My Antichrist will move here. Oh, but this has been activated. It's okay. Okay, he will move here. Yeah. Uh, wait, uh, I have command ability. Uh, I can command up to four units. So I will take the halberdiers who are very oh, good. I love halberdiers. Uh, one, two, three, four, and well, they move okay. in, as part of the activation. So that's five out of six. And I have yeah one one move here. I have three more that I can command. Command. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, you are full then. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, yep. I'm full. Mm -hmm. oh, I think I think potentially when we were chatting earlier, I think we did this. Yeah, I think he should be moving in. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think when when we were chatting things out between turns, I think that's kind of where we. Okay. Did. So th there. So that's. How many did I move? Did I come? Just so command two. one to here. Command one to there. Uh, I have two more. Mm. Peasants could come up, your spearmen. My spearmen could come up here. Yeah, once they sign on. Right. Um, That's full. Here is not full. You put another guy in there. No, 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 no. I don't move. I don't want to move uh, guys here. Well, I will move one. <laughs> one lonely guy. Two lonely. Uh, no, it's, oh, it's only one. Just one, one guy here. Okay. Okay. Do you want to interrupt? No. Have you got anything else to do with the Antichrist? Uh, the anti. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Sorry. I, 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 well, I presume. I presume. Yes. Uh, if I left a space here, mm -hmm. it's because my Antichrist can. Uh, I'm maybe giving you too to much credit, practically, am I? <laughs> so, I will spend this token. Well, thank yeah. you for reminding. <laughs> Uh, and I will try and convert one of your... Would you like one of my amazingly lucky dice? Mm. <laughs> so, 50-50, there's three shields on it. So a shield... Is it a shield you're after? It's a shield. So, do you have to pick the unit you're after no. first? No. No. And it, does that have to be... An adjacent enemy troop of your choice. Okay. So it can't be... It can't be... <laughs> Archangel St. Michael and it can't no, be John it can't be, so it's no, one of the... It's, uh, it can't be uh, the Archangel. It can't be John Charles. So it's one of the knights if you get it's a shield. It's one of the knights. I got a shield! Yes! <laughs> 
Yes, shield. You can have the one with the, the, the non grey base that messes with my OCD. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so now it's different. Now I have them with me and I have the halberdiers, so I'm in a much better position. <laughs> this is a storm that I was in. I got lucky with the Antichrist in the swamp. Now I don't want to attack the Antichrist because he's rolling two black dice in defense and he's adding a black dice to every unit in there on top of their normal defense. So it's five black before anything um, from the other defenses. But now retreating into either three halberdiers or two halberdiers and some heretics, neither of those are particularly, you know, not something I really want to be doing. Is your activation finished? Yes, it's finished. This time it's finished. Do you know what? I think I am. I think I'm going. I think I'm going to flee. I think. Are oh. you really coward? Oh! Oh! <laughs> Oh, well, that's just changed everything. <laughs> now, now, now you've said those words. Um, well, he fled, also. Oh, man. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I was thinking about doing this angel against these spike men. <laughs> just, just as a bit of a get out of my zone. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to activate these guys. And it's the choice is either move away, chase after the holy relic, try no isn't great in combat, uh, stay away from the defensive, or actually come back and try and wipe out another unit. Um, I'm going to come back and I'm going to go to the swamp. Because I hear it's nice well, this time of year. You want to attack the swamp? Yeah. I can remove one of your defensive shields here. So maybe I can... Maybe I can... The retaliation of the halberdiers, though, is just such a pain. Okay. Okay. This is the plan. All right. So... so John Chan, let's see. Uh, Terror is not going to do anything. Slayer will come into play in a moment, so that's fine. Okay. <laughs> do you have any defensive things to be aware of? You have retaliation, obviously. I only have retaliation, okay. but I'm happy with that. Um, so I'm just getting my dice so together. Let's get. I will have three red and three white with um, red retaliation. Okay. Well, let me. So Arch. Uh, this I have a lot of dice. So Archangel uh, with Slayer. Is going to get so that's a oof. that's a double kill with that slayer and uh, a disrupt two push and a shield which I'll use for my roll uh, for John Chandos he's a black and a red so he contributes two shields so that's fine and um, I've got three units of horsemen have you got any more reds can I can yeah. I borrow just for a second how many uh, I need two um, okay so this is the three units of mounted well now three units of mounted knights um, okay so there's two more kills but these are set three more kills. Another action and another push. So, okay. So I'll give you this one. So, I currently have one double kill with Slayer, three normal kills, two out of action, and three pushes. Oh, okay. Oh, that's a lot of retaliation. Oh, that's a lot of retaliation. Oh my word! So, I. The, the you block the double slayer one. Yes, and then I have oh, a lot of retaliation. Two kills and three out of action. Wow. 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 Okay. Well, minus, wow. Min minus three or four, because that is a kill, a kill, and a kill. So that... So they will die. So they will die. They will die, um, but they will take some of your guys with them. They, they will indeed. So I have to allocate two kills and two out of action. Three out of action. Oh, two out of action. Two out of action. So, um, oh no, so if it's so, I had two shields, yeah. Ah, so it should be one of your guys will be out of action rather than killed. Then, yes, yeah, sorry, two about. shields because if it's yeah. so, I'll take one of the what was it this or did we move it? I, I didn't catch it, I wasn't paying okay. attention. All right, are you okay? Yeah, so I'll take one of the kills as a wound on Archangel St. Michael, uh, one of the kills as a wound on John Chandos, Um the out of actions then will go on to two units of horsemen. Okay, so then two units of horsemen will go out of action. And I've got two kills, which is two experience, and, out of and a one out of action. One out of action, okay. And I will absolutely follow up. Ah, I remember, you're in the swamp, I can negate your shield. Oh, and make it a kill. Okay, so his ah, kill is a kill. Him. Good, right. old, good old swamp, it's been, it, the swamp has been the kind of, Turning okay. point of this game. So I will run away. But I had two shields, right? Yes. So one of them I, I had. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. On the, on, okay. I think that's right. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Okay. So you're here. 
uh, that one I've got. Oh, I could, could I command? I could, uh, yes, do you know what? I can adjacent three now. Um, so the angel, uh, St. Michael has adjacent three. So these guys are adjacent. So one, two, three. Yeah. He's been level two upgraded. Oh, okay. And John Chandos has one hex, two units. One hex, two units. So either that's here or here. Nah, he's not going to do anything. So the swamp is now mine, and let's not lie, that's the moral objective of this entire battle, I think. Has been <laughs> the swamp. <laughs> the swamp. Um, and it is back to you. To me. Yes. Okay. Does... Uh is it John Hawkwood? Does he have retaliation or no. anything? No, he has faint, which lets him re-roll a dice and attack, and mercenary, which means he can command and be commanded. Um, but no, that is it. Okay. Are you going to come at John Hawkwood and his, and his uh, war hounds? Uh, is he wounded? He is not. He only has two wounds, but he's not wounded yet. Okay. I could, I could do that. Or I could attack here. Yeah, now you've been... Force that. Yes, now we force that with uh, halberdiers or pikemen. Pikemen, yeah. Okay, well, I will first do this mm -hmm. and I will attack oh. these guys. So, two units of halberdiers and one unit of heretics? Yes. So, two white. For the and two whites for the heretics. Yeah. Okay, so I'm rolling a white for John and two yellow for the. Oh, not a great defense at all here. Oh! <laughs> That's three blanks and an out of action. <laughs> it's not very good. Okay, go. Uh, well, I didn't get a shield. Oh, um, so you have one out so of action. So I have one out of action, which I'll take as a wound on John. And John Hopkins. Okay. You know nothing, John Hawkwood. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Angels and the Antichrist and Magog and battles and swooping down and over here some wolves and some halberdiers basically <laughs> just did, did this. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, mm -hmm. you don't have... Oh, yes, you have a lot. Yeah, the the Black Prince. Oh no, he doesn't actually. Uh, so yeah, so it'd be three retaliations with the foot knights. And what what are the defense dice? It's a black dice, which really in retaliation isn't that strong. It's it's three shields. In retaliation, though, they have one kill and two out of action. So one chance out of two to be out of action. Yeah, which is something. But pretty grim. But you could soak up some of that on Magog. He still has six wounds, so he yeah. could soak up a few hits. Mm-hmm. What's Magog's ability? Oh, he has retaliation as well. Yes, yeah. during your opponent's turn, I can remove a dice from your attack. Oh, uh, so now they, 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 they haven't had attacked, no. right? Yeah, since he's arrived, they've been just... The benefit of the foot knights is, is really just holding. Yeah, yeah. And uh, how the Diaz would also be holding, like we, we yeah. see what they did. Uh, okay, well... I will attack with them. Let's do that. He attacks. All, all the entire hex going in? Yes. So that's Magog. It's two units of heretics, one unit of flagellants, and one unit of spearmen? Yeah, that's it. Okay. So Magog is, is two red, one black, and one white. Okay. Uh, then the one unit of flagellants, you said? One white. That's one white. Two units of heretics. That's is two white each. So that's four. And then your pikeman is another white. A lot of white dice. I'm feeling like well, you, you had way more. Do you have? Well, oh have, yes. No, no, plus one white. Each? Because oh, it's just one, one. Yeah. So one more white on top. One more white. Uh, here you go. So yeah, there's there's units of, of mounted there, so the pikemen get an extra one. Okay, this is looking very right. bad. Bad? Is, yeah, I see a lot of out of action. No. 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 Oh, a lot of shields. It's very very bad. Oh, Leo. Okay, I have four out of act. Uh, disrupt. Yeah. Okay. And then four shields and then three blanks. That's yeah. very good. 
Okay. okay. Go ahead. So, and so each one of the, the knights then is a black, so that's three black. Then the mounted knight is also a black, but they're without retaliation. And then we have uh, the black prince is a single black. He also... Oh, yeah. He has terror one. Sure. But do you know uh, the, the, the black prince has terror one? But we forgot the Antichrist earlier. We'll, we'll, we'll okay. rush over it for now. It's fine. It's fine. So um, normal defense from the mounted knights and the black prince give us... Uh, a shield and two out of uh, two disrupt, which doesn't matter. And then the retaliation black knights from the foot knights give me ah, oh, give me two shields and kill. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, so how many shields so all together? Three, three shields. shields. Block your but three of your disrupts and leave one. And I have one kill for you. So you end up disrupting one of mine, and I end up killing killing. One of mine. But you could just take that on Magog. I you? could take that on Magog. Yeah. Whereas I, I don't have that option because the Black Prince is on his last wound, so I have to out of action somebody, and it's going to be a unit of mounted knights. Wow, three units of mounted knights out of action this round. Hopefully. Yeah, I rolled pretty well on the camp yes. phase last and time. I need to do it again. Okay. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, yeah, slowly they are. Okay, my last. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Or should I react? Should I react? No, you can't activate there again. You don't have her. Yes, I'm fine. I'm fine. Do you want to react? I was nervous. I was nervous about you attacking there again, but you can't because you've activated and you don't have a, a reactivate yellow token. So I'm actually completely okay. So I wonder if I should save my... Might, might be a good thing to save because, well, unless... No. No. Uh, I, will, I will save my cube yeah. for later. For next okay. turn, and I think my turn is is, is over. I'm also let's going to save my interrupt for okay. next round. So let's count my victory points here. So you were on 15 at the end of turn two. Yeah. So we've now got 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Is that right? 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yeah. So it's 20 to 15. I've slowed down. Your income from seven and then eight, and now it's come down to five. So now it's 20 points to you, uh, 15 to me. Okay. Uh, and we need to do the camp yes. phase. Yes. So I have much more this time to do, I think. Well, these uh, two will come back in, in automatically. Because last turn they rolled yes. the, the time, the air bar. But now, uh, well, we. I have uh, four units and you have three units. Yeah, okay. Uh, who should start? Yeah, go ahead. Just, yeah. Okay, uh, let's start with the pikemen. Yep. Okay, so that's yeah, they're back. They're back. Okay. Then Gilles de Ré. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> this is big. He oh, stays. He stays in the infirmary. Okay. The peasants. Yep. They stay. stay. And finally, Seguin de Batfol. Oh, you're really building this one up. He's dead! Oh, that's three experience! <laughs> oh. oh, that's bad. That's bad. Okay, now roll your... Uh, so three units of Mountain Knights, so straightforward. So the first one is dead. Oh, finally. That's, now, Mountain Knights are worth two experience, so oh. m less than a character, but more than, uh, more than a, a normal foot soldier. Uh, second one is back. And third one is waiting until next round. Okay. That was a more even rolling for me that time round. It's the first time you have someone d to yeah. who so dies from, from, from death. Yes. Right? Okay, so that was the end of round three. So we'll tidy this up a little bit and then come back with round four. Quick correction, because I just realized that this area is in your deployment, so not actually worth a point. Sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, oh, so you're actually, on. you're actually on 19 victory points and I'm on uh, 15 victory points currently. And then, of course, the, the, the dead and the infirmary will come in at the end of the game yeah. to decide the, the final total. So uh, we have, for this round, activation tokens, four activation orders each. Here you go. Here are, here are four. 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 So, okay, so, so we'll go back here. Um, and I just and I have so. Um, for the river, we have um, trade a uh, grey activation, a normal activation order, for three experience or three myth. 
or you can spend myth to get orders. So two will get you a normal activation or three myth will get you any of the other. So one time either a charge, a reactivate or an interrupt. And then finally we have, ooh, heal a wound or gain a charge. Interestingly, um, all my characters have at least one wound. So maybe the healing might be wise. Yeah, seeing seeing how uh, losing a character is not only that's mm. really bad, but because oh, you gain three experience if they actually you die is and not only the, and you lose you, their command yeah. also, you know, very is... debilitating. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just simply take the charge activation. Okay, <sighs> and because I saved uh, my gray cube. I think I will trade this grey cube yeah. uh, to get three myth. Okay. There you go. Could give me ah, I see what you're up to. Oh. I see what you're up to. Yeah, I can pick this one. Yeah. Prototypes are so fun. Okay. So I have, as usual, a bunch, because of, I've got even more upgraded characters now, a bunch of start of turn activation stuff to do. So I have to pay my upkeep. So I have St. Michael is upgraded uh, and John Chandus is updated. So two experience go for upkeeping them. I'm then going to use St. Michael to spend an experience to gain a blue cube. And I'm also going to use John Hawkwood to spend an experience to gain uh, a blue activation. And then I also gain a single gray order and an experience back for John Chandus. Um, so that will give me... They are very strong. Yes. Once they're upgraded, all my sort of turn things really become... They, they, they lack the ability to really command a lot of units, but they produce a real income yeah. consistently. Um, I also have the Inquisitor then. So again, at the start of my turn, roll a black dice on a shield. I can steal a myth or experience from you. I don't. I get a disrupt, so that's fine. Right. The plan is definitely death. Death now. Death is the plan. Um, I want to try and make you right by taking out more than half, by killing more than half of your units and get you just to right and end this before um, it goes on any longer. So one, two, three, four, five here. So I think, <sighs> yeah, I think it might be time to chase my gog. Do you know what I'm gonna do first? Over here, Angel against the pikeman. <laughs> <laughs> Just okay. Um, so, Angel starts with a red and a white. Okay. I get myself an out of a uh, disrupt. Please disrupt. Yes. Get out do you of follow? my church. Yes, I think I do actually. Lovely. I'm happy with that. Less points for you. Then I'm going to activate here. And I'm going to move these three units. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we'll take the Warhounds. Yeah, we'll take the Warhounds. No, no, we'll not take the Warhounds, actually. We'll just move those two. Then, uh, you don't have any interrupts, so I'm, I'm fine to kind of uh, keep going here. So I'm then going to activate this hex, and we'll use the Black Prince's one hex, one command. So even, you know, it's actually, do you know what? Time to upgrade the Black Prince. Five experience. We'll take him from level one to level two. Now, with him, I have a couple of options here. So I can either go Holy, which is going to make him, um, well, a little bit better at commanding. He'll start commanding two units, and he'll give me potentially more um, more cubes, more more, more uh, interrupt cubes. Or I can make him Unholy, which increases his attack dice by one red. And at the start of the turn, I can potentially um, take, take myth tokens from you. Oof. Yeah, do you know what? Let's do that. So I will spend that experience to now the Black Prince is now unholy, terror to ruthless, and he has a start of turn um, activation. So you don't have any holy units in, in your area because ah if... unholy and holy cannot be together. So the uh, let's have a look. The mounted knights note they're just standard military as are the foot knights. So that's fine. okay. Okay. No. But now you can't have. Both of them, like uh, yeah. the angel, can't be in in uh, ah, black because race. he's turned dark. Yes. Ah, yes. fantastic! So he'll use his command to bring forth this unit, yes. and then the entire force, led by now the furious black prince, are heading into Magog and his men. Oh, yeah. 
this is, I'm hoping this is going to hurt. Now, what's Magog got in terms of terror or retaliation? He does, he has retaliation. Okay. So we'll, we'll count, we'll take this. Um, uh, I have the forest. I, I will re-roll one, one dice. dice there, yeah. Yes. Uh, who else do, do we have here? Uh, so pikemen. And pikemen, no. Fanatics. Oh, heretics and flagellants. So I don't think there's any, nothing no. terrorizing there, is there? No, 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 no. Okay. So I can I have some red dice, please. Um, so two for each, um, for each foot knight. So I'll do that first. So here are the foot knights. Oh, attacks. we forgot that Magog has Slayer. So when I attack, um, one of his kills becomes yes, two. We we we, we didn't use that. Okay, so that was really per. That is three pushes, uh, two shields, and an out of action. Or disrupt, so that's really nothing. That was the foot knights. The uh, cavalry, the mounted knights, then. I have four of them, so two, two, two. And then I'll need to do one more after. Um, oof. This is, this is getting pretty hot in here. So I'll put a wee three by that. There we go. And one more. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so... And then that just leaves uh, the Black Prince. I actually need to grab myself another red. So can I just use this for a second? Ah, so poof. Um, wow, these rolls. Man. So yeah, so in total, that was three red from the Black Prince. Uh, five, seven, nine, plus eight. That was 17 red dice rolled. Oh, <laughs> that's crazy. Um, yeah. And how many? In total, do you have, Will? So I have six kills, three disrupts, and three pushes. Okay. So let me roll for defense. <laughs> uh, Magog has retaliation. Yeah, he has so Slayer. I wonder if Slayer will work uh, with retaliation. Okay. Um, oof, that's an interesting one, actually. I feel like because Slayer... I, I completely forgot that he no, has Slayer. No, Slayer's when attacking, and this is defending, so... Okay. So let's roll this. Well, two shields and one kill. Okay, two that's, shields. that's pretty solid. Two shields and one kill, yep. and one kill that you will have to take. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, and then, well, the flagellants have no White defense. Dice? Oh, yes, of course. Except that there are three of them, but they are not. So no. the only one that I have left is the pikemen. They have a yellow one. Okay. Nothing. Okay. So two shields. So two shields will knock my kills down from six to four. Okay. Um, so that's that's easy enough. And then you have a kill to do back to me. Yeah. yeah. So this is what we've got. The kill back to me then will now go into the black prince because he has a wound to spare. Thank goodness because he okay. uh, experienced that. All right. Uh, so, so you have four, four kills. Four kills. So uh, one, two, three, four. Oh yes. Yeah. So one on one on Magog. Yeah. So one on Magog will be a wound. Where are the Let's see who. Yeah. Give you. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. 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 Oh, I see. yeah. Perfect. One on Magog. Uh, one, two, three, four. There's basically so, three guys have to die. So yeah. Well, it's my three tough guys. guys. Yes. My yeah. Tough guys. Okay. So three black dice, and if you get any shields, they will. Did you want to do them one at a time, just because there, there's some differences? So uh, well, I will roll yeah, this, one this separately one. for this yeah. this guy. Shield. So he's fine. And then the two. So that was the the flat. The another one. Oof. Just one die. One kill. Okay. Oof. That okay. tough rule, man. That tough rule. Okay. So then the pikemen are dead. No, the pikemen. No, no, no. No, 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 no pikemen no. are out of action. Yeah. Simply out, out of action. action. But then you have two further out of actions to take on Magog. Yes. Yeah. Two. Yes. Um, two more. Let's do it. Yeah. We'll here. Give. Yeah. Have you got enough? Yeah. Uh, no. One's missing. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. Use this just as a as a as a flank for now. It's fine. Okay. Yeah. Lovely. Okay. Okay. That went pretty well for me. I'm not gonna lie. Rolling seventeen red dice. Who knew? It's pretty good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um. Can't follow up. So they're pretty much done. Right, where's next? Where is next? I want to stay away from the Antichrist as much as possible. Um, oh, I think... I think I'm just going to get moving. So let's activate here. And these guys are... 
So we've got one, two, three, five, six. So, so I'll use John Chandler's uh, one hex, two unit command to move uh, these warhounds in. And he'll also bring with him a uh, unit of crossbowmen. And then this entire hex of four will, or eight, sorry, will attack into here. Okay. okay. So You've you have Hollow yeah. Diaz. So two dice for each foot knife, so that's four. And um, Warhounds is a white and a red. And uh, more Warhounds, so more white and red. Fine. Then St. Michael will do afterwards because he's got Slayer, so he's a little bit unique. And then uh, John Chandos, uh, he is a black and a red. That, oh, and I've got Mounted Cavalry. Um, okay, <laughs> so we'll do everyone except for St. Michael first. Okay, so let's get rid of that. And oh my word, that is a horrendous amount of kills. I don't think I really need to do much more. I think, well, maybe. That. Uh, the angel then is three red and two white with slayer. And there's another one with slayer. Um, yes. Okay. So well, retaliation. It's mostly what is going to count. Uh, I need uh, two red and two white. Okay, give me a second. I'll get two reds and two whites. And then, yeah, no, no, no defense for the the the, the um, heretic. Yeah. Heretic. Oh, one kill, that's it. And two shields, but two shields is not enough, is it? Uh, no. Okay. Um, that's actually yeah, exactly, unfortunately, because of the. You get rid of the Slayer, but then it's still. And then you get rid of another attack, but then you'll still have two, uh, four more, sorry, um, attacks coming through. Uh, kills coming through. Three more. Uh, I had. Uh, so I had a Slayer one, and then I had five. Uh, five. Okay. So I, yeah, I gave you those reds. I'm trying okay. to track it that way. Okay. And um, and I took a kill. You took a kill. So that'll be a uh, war handle. Just eat that. So that's an experience for you. Yeah. And I achieved three kills. So these are killed, right? Yeah. And he is a heretic. heretic. Oh no! So he don't stay. don't get out of get out of the zone. Oh, yes, he's dead. Okay. That tough rule is a pain. So out of the swamp, finally, because let's not lie, this swamp thing was just a lie the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> so um, let's then activate here. Yeah. And we're going to go chasing the the relic, I think, the false pope. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, because we lost one. So I'll bring with me John Hawkwood. He's yeah. coming. Well, because he's a mercenary, you yeah. can come on him. Okay. Usually characters can't. And then this entire... Oh, no, sorry. Ah, I can only move six. That's okay. Uh, oof. Yeah. yeah, let's have John... Um, he's also going to... Because he's a mercenary, he can then command. He's going to command units um, one hex away up to two. So this one is one hex away up to two. And this one is one hex away up to two. So he's going to split the force. And then these guys... I wanted them all to move, but I realised I don't have enough space. So I'm going to simply do one, two... Crossman can stay behind three, four, and our two heroes. I like bringing the Warhounds with me, because Warhounds have an ability we haven't talked about much, which is the bodyguard, which means yeah. they can soak up a hit. The other ones then will simply just move. I'm going to spread out a little and simply just try and hold some ground. Okay. Um, my final normal activation then will be here, and we're going to just move straight into here. And then I'm going to use a blue interrupt as a normal grey yep. to declare into here. Okay, so you attack my holy relic. Yes, these guys have gone activation crazy. Okay, so he's got one black dice in defense. Reroll cohesion. Oh yes, so he'll have co cohesion, so that means I have an extra sure. uh, white die. Yep. Then uh, it's three pikemen, so it will be three yellows. Okay, so I have my defense. Okay, well, I have, I'm rolling everybody's attacks except for the St. Michael because he's the special slayer. So uh, there's no terror or anything here, just no. to check before. No. So there's three. 
Uh, so St. Michael will do his separate. So that's one slayer. Okay. So I'm all done with my attacks. Okay. Yeah, nothing to trigger. Okay, so let's me let me roll for defense. So how many kills do you have? I have three kills and one slayer kill. I have one shield that will get rid of your the slayer. slayer kill, yeah. And that's it. And that's then it. I have yeah, I don't have the retaliation, so, so you have shield. three kills, uh three out of uh three disrupts and uh one push. Okay, three kill so one goes to the holy relic. Yeah. No, nah, we'll just use the, use these for now, do we? Yeah. One will go for the, to the holy relic. Mm -hmm. Three kills. Yep. And then two others. So that's one of those gone. Two 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 dead. So two dead. Two screens. Then you have out of three out of action. So one here. This guy is for is necessarily out of yep. action. Another wound for him. Yep. And then he'll be out of action. He's, he'll be out of oh. action. And there's nothing left to push. Do you want to move? Yep, pop me in there. Let's let's absolutely follow up. I'm right. I'm going to put myself right beside the Antichrist, which I'm not a particular fan of. But, um, yeah, well, yeah, you have the angel. Angels on our side, and that is going to end my my turn four. So I take all these back, and then we'll do points for each area. So I was on fifteen. So this would be sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 24. 24, one, nine. That's my strongest points round yet. Starting yeah, to swing. Totally. So we will be going into the start of your turn four. Yeah. Okay, well, it's going to be very difficult for me, but. There's one little chance I could mm -hmm. do something, and it's because of these three myths. I can try and use the Antichrist uh, conversion yep. uh, factor. Right. We'll call it the Antichrist conversion rate. Like for every, yeah. do for every dollar, how many Antichrist conversions <laughs> do you get? <laughs> well, how would you say it's it's his, it's not conversion, right? It's uh, no conversion. Yeah, no, you you convert. Yeah, okay, okay. okay. You are uh, you're directly yeah uh, you're converting someone. You're. Uh, Turn coat. Your, your, okay. Your. So, I will play here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Oh yeah. Well, you have some stuff to do, but well, I, I don't mind. I, I'm keeping it in mind. Yeah. Okay. So he will go here. Mm -hmm. uh, and he will go here. Sure. So. One, two, He's three. mine. That's my horse. Four. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, these are half of years. One, two, three, four, five. Can still have one. One in there. Yeah. This one will stay here. Yeah, I see what you're up to. So, uh, I will spend one myth. Yeah. You want, a, you want one of my good rolling black die again? Yes, please. <laughs> so I will shield? try and convert uh, these uh, crossbow. 50-50. No. No. Oh. oh sorry. Do you uh, want to command I will though, command yeah? with, uh, well, up to two hexes. Mm -hmm. One, two. So... One will one of these guys yep. will go here. Yeah. One of this guy will go here. That's two. Yep. Uh, this guy will go here to defend sure. a little more. So that's three. Yep. And uh, well, this guy will also will go here. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Okay. So that's the end of my activation. Mm, I would not like to do anything at this stage. I think I'm still okay. Okay, then I will activate him again. Okay. And I will go here. Okay. And On try this grand, again. grand pilgrimage around yes. here. Yes. Repent. Yes. And jo and join the the, yes. the recently dug up poop. And I will try here to convert here. Right. Okay. Okay. You're after my horses. <laughs> oh wait. Before he moves, I use my command to be absolutely. Yes. So yeah, it makes perfect sense. So one here. Yeah. Uh, another one here. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and Bring these both of them two up. Here. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Yeah. Okay. And now makes he moves, sense. and then now I try to convert. If you're fine. Yeah. Try to convert. Yep. Guys here. 
Shield. Ah. Yes. So mountain knight or foot knight? Oh. Mm. Oh well, who has retaliation? The foot knight. The foot knights only. Yeah. So I will take the foot knight. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, so do you do anything? Uh, well, now I'm much stronger here. Yeah, because you get two of my units. <laughs> <laughs> well, I convinced them that to it, go with, you know. It just shows you though how important that one uh, interrupt was when you moved to the swamp. Because if he had just started converting on mass, uh, on mass, get it, <laughs> uh, and hadn't been put out of action, my goodness, that could have been terrifying. Um, yes, I'm going to interrupt. I think I need. To, I'm just going to try and run. I'm going to ring a ring of roses a little bit. Um, do I run or do I? No, let's let's go into here. You want to attack yeah. my guys? Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. So I'm rocking now just one unit of footmen, uh, one unit of mounted knights, and we've then got uh, John, who's rolling a black and a red, and then we've got uh, John, the other John, John Hawkward, who's rolling a black. Now he actually can re-roll, so I'll keep his one separate, and I'll also keep the Archangel separate again because he has the Slayer. So. Um, Keep myself right here. Two knights, uh, two foot knights, and John. There. So initial. Oh, one kill, two disrupt, three disrupt, two shields. That's reasonable. So then the angel. Uh, so these are slayer. That is four shields and a push. Oh. That's dreadful. And then I have one single black dice for John Hawkwood who has faint. Um, I will not re-roll that because that's not out of action and that's okay. Okay, let me roll. So you've well, got some retaliation? No, 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 no. These yeah, are just pikemen. No, no, you've got a unit of halberds then. Eh? Oh yeah, 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 okay. And then pike, right. if halberds, pikemen and... Uh, okay, so I have a bit of retaliation. So my my yeah. halberdiers, one white and one red. Yep. And then uh, a pikeman is only a, a yellow. Yeah, so, yep, yep. Okay, so the red and... White mm -hmm. or retaliation, sure. and then the, uh, the heretics do not defend. Oh, I've got two out of uh, two disrupts both on your retaliation on my retaliation, nice. but no, no, um, no shield. So you basically have a kill and two out of orders to place, and then I have two out of orders to place, or two well, disrupts. Sorry. The kill will go on, yes, because they can tough it, yeah, they yeah. tough it, and the other ones are out of. Combat, yeah, it? in the infirmary. infirmary. Yeah, yes, in the infirmary. I know. I keep, I keep jumping between disrupt and out of yeah, combat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's but yeah, it's they're in the infirmary. Yeah. Things, yeah. Um, okay, and I have to take two uh, disrupts. Yes. Um, I don't think I can spare the wounds. Okay, so one. Well, yes, I can put one wound on John Chandos, but the other one is going to have to go on. It's going to go on the knights. So they are, they're out of there. Okay, well, yeah. there's a lot of there's a lot of people in the infirmary. <laughs> <laughs> now let's see if this uh, is important because if he uh, this 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 tough roll means yes. if I, if he sees I can't run away from the if not the you Christ. can't and I can try and convert one of your guys. So a shield will keep him alive. Yeah, shield. They stay. God dang it! It's not over till it's over. Okay, so I lose this and I have to stand, I will turn and face. <laughs> okay. Well, soon I will be out of troops and I will just have characters left and you can't convert <laughs> them, so... <laughs> well, how many troops left? You one, that's three, one. That's oh, three there's characters. There's only one guy to convert, yeah. right? Yeah, this, the, like, splitting my forces into two just very strong wrecking balls has worked really well while keeping all the weak stuff at the back. <laughs> oh... Well, you can only convert one more time. You've only one more myth left, so maybe... Okay. I'll spend my last myth. So you're, yeah. you're activating this yes, area? Yes, I'm again. activating yeah. this area. Okay, if I want to convert, I need space. Yeah. So one has to go, I suppose. <laughs> uh, Just bring them in, slap an Antichrist sticker on them and send so them out. these Just, guys. Yeah, okay. Go here. Yeah. Well, which mail? More which points, more, more points. points. Yeah, yeah. And... Uh, I will hope. He's just surrounded by my troops. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> these are these were mine. Get them back. <laughs> oh, you know what? I could convert and then attack. You could convert before your actual. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, no, no, because. Oh, you 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 would need to yes. Ah, uh, because you yes, he's moving, so you need to declare. 
before or after? Okay, so I'm not going to try. Well, do do they have retaliate? This guy has. Does... The key thing is that the Archangel Saint Michael has retaliation, and okay. that's two white and a black. And no. John Chandos is three red retaliation. No. so I, I'm just yeah. on the conversion. Yeah, so, I think defensively you're much stronger. You're you're yes, tricky. Yes, you know? yes. So I hope I can roll. I a shield. hope you can. Shield. Yes. This is shield. Well, you know, guys. Because of the reaction, you know it's not fake. <laughs> that was a shield. Okay. That's four units of mine you've converted this game? Yes, yes. Thank goodness well, he, that did not start the game this they way. They finally understood who the real Pope Am is. I was listening to you know, the, the voice of reason. The rattle of bones. And finally... Would you want to, do you want to... Oh, no, you can't now move them. They're, 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 they're there. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, no, no. Well, hold on, hold on. Now. What can I do now? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, what can I do now? Do you know what? Do you know what? Let's 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 try deeply. Um, I need to. I want to kill because I'm very close to routing you. Uh, I'm, I think if you roll badly on the uh, the camp phase, there's a chance over half your units will be dead, dead, and if they're dead, dead, this could be over. So I'm going to try and kill another couple of units okay. so i am going to interrupt we're going to do this huge battle again oh yeah. we're going to do it again oh we forgot last time that i could re-roll a defense dice yes. yes this time so let's uh, try not to forget two foot knights two foot knights any terror anything just it's just retaliation i think for for you um and well magog has retaliation yeah. so get them together oh man Okay, so I'm going to do my foot knights first. So that's that's six, three units, so that's six red line. Um, that's pretty decent. That is three kills, two disrupt, and a shield. I'll then do my knights that um, are on horseback. So that's four units, uh, two each, so I need eight. Uh, this here. There we go. Uh, wow, that's even more. So that's another three, which will put that to six. And then finally, there will be the Black Prince, who's rolling three now. Oh, when he's activated now, I can spend two experience to get two myth cards. Because he's now unholy. Go on, we'll look at that later. But wow. The benefit of upgrading. So there's another one of those. One of those. There we go. So we're rocking seven kills and seven disrupts oh wow okay okay <laughs> what have you got in defense what do you need well uh, i've got two black and two and one white for my for magog which can retaliation, retaliation. Yeah. and this time i will not forget that i can re-roll one dice yeah. if necessary absolutely uh, and then uh, my flagellants and heretics have none, and my pikemen have two. Well, have just two yellow. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so there's the black and white have retaliations. So. Okay. You got three out of order in your black. Or uh, disrupt on your black and white. Well, well, I might as well keep those. Yeah. Great. Right? Yeah. Or, and I can re-roll this one. I have yes. one shield. Yeah. Let, let's hope I can do a second one, but I don't think it's going to make a big yeah, so difference. So the forest is giving a one re-roll defensive no. die. No. Okay. So yeah. one shield will cancel one of the kills. Yeah. And the three um, uh, uh, disrupts for me will basically go on to three units of one to nine. Oh, gosh. Well, I mean, that's... that's <laughs> McGall did. Big, McGall, big, big. McGall took three units of Mountain Knights out there. That was pretty nice. <laughs> Unfortunately, though, there is now seven, right? Uh, six, because you blocked one. So six kills and seven out of actions to come. One, from. two, three, four, five, and he's got two wounds left. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. seven. Yeah, so he will take two and actually be killed. He's killed. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's the. That's, well, you've got the giant. Oh, that's... Yeah. Um, and uh, all of them were killed, Except, right? well, you've got two tough rolls to make. Yes, you never know. You never know. Two black dice, looking for shields. Those flagrants. 
two shields. Two shields. <laughs> Let's just stay there. for all right. <laughs> just for pride, more than anything. Okay. Uh, in that case, well, we'll see. It will all depend on uh, the rally. Well, the camp phase, yeah. as you said. Uh, okay. Well, this interruption was bad for me because I wanted to attack. I you thought here. you might have wanted to, yeah. So and I could have done something because they were yeah. a lot. And in attack, he's pretty pretty good, and mm -hmm. he's got Slayer. Uh, okay. So I have one last. One last uh, activation. Activation. Well, you know what? I and could simply. Is packed. I will just move. Get the some points. Yes. Yeah. So that I can have some extra, points. some yeah. more points. Okay. So what is what are my? So you were on points? nineteen, um, and now this red area, which is actually yours, gives you 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So it's now 24 to 24 on, on control, on control. But yeah, but a the, little more the, the, over the, there. Um, okay, because I think this might be the end of the game, let's have a, a, yes, a let's proper... See. Yeah, so I've these got, these rally, right? They rally, yeah. And then I've got four Mounted Knights re -ro uh, rolls to make. Okay. So the first one is death. Oh. The second one is back to rally. Third one is staying where he is. And fourth one is death. Oh, I my god did some work. About the, if only it is so two. Oh no, four experience. Yes. Oh my god, where were you at the start of the game, sir? That was. <laughs> that would have changed things somewhat. Yeah. And now, um, mine. Yeah. Right. Okay, so uh, I've got one, two. Oh, look at this! Look at this board. It's now so spread out. Everything is everywhere. All right, so I've got one, two, three, four pikemen, one yeah. halberdier, one peasant, uh, Gilles de Rey, and my holy relic. Okay. Okay, let's start with the four pikemen. The four pikemen. So. Yeah, so he'll be back next round. Next round. Yeah. But, but, but if there is one, <laughs> he'll be back. Second one. Stays. He stays. Third one. He's in death. He stays. And he's in death. Come on. Fourth one. He's in death. He's in death, maybe? No, next round. Next round. Then Gilles This is big. He rallies. Oof. Go him. Oh. He's brave. Stupid. The halberdiers. They buy. They rally. Okay. Yeah. And then my relic. Yeah. Holy relic. Death. Oh. Yes, the false pope. <laughs> that's a that's that's a moral victory if ever there was one. I hold the swamp and I kill the skeleton pope. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, so how many units have you got on the battlefield at present? Okay. Do I count yours? Um, the one that I converted. Oof. What do you think? Mm. This is something we need to we need to consider actually. Um. Yeah, I say so. Yeah. So I have. You think so? Yeah. One, two, three, four, yeah. five, six, mm -hmm. seven, eight, yeah. nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah. In your dead pool, however, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, six, and seventy, eight, nineteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-three. 19, 20, 23. So, so that is a rout, unfortunately. Your, your, your heroes may fight on, but your troops have given up the day and they are out of here. Well, it was pretty clear from the last two uh uh, turns yeah. or rounds that you were going to win, but it was an interesting game. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Initially, I was I was super worried about how fast you could move and how much you could spread out. And I I, th I thought on the first turn I'd messed up by keeping everything clumped together. But then I was able to just slowly by by kind of hit one hex at a time. And then this opening with the angels down the back was fantastic. That yes, they yes. they Saint Michael and the angel made their yeah. money. Yeah. And once they both. Had enough experience to upgrade they just tore down there yeah. which was great incredibly incredibly impressed by the foot knights retaliation yes. is is so off-putting yes and um, yes. it is yes. and I, same for the halberdiers they most of the uh, yeah and full like full um, and we played a little bit beforehand you know to, to try and get a feel for this 
And I think um, I was aware that attacking into the Antichrist was not something I ever wanted to do. Yeah, yeah. Um, until, I could, until I could pick a moment. So I, I, was, I was fortunate with a bit of experience to avoid that because defensively he's fantastic. Offensively he's not so bad. Unless this happens... What a, what a different game it could have been. Had, yes, uh, yes. Had he uh, three more conversions, conversions, conversions earlier on, earlier on in, during this game? Because he just keeps pulling people to defend. Yes. Um, well, look, we'll we'll have the army list. Yeah, I'll, we'll have the army list on WhatsApp Wednesday. Update a hundred with the Joan of Arc Kickstarter. We hope you enjoyed this. We plan on doing many more videos. Yes, we we, we really genuinely do. Um, and we'll we'll look to up the quality, do more interaction, more lives in the future. And um, but hopefully this gives you a little insight to the kind of fun we had, and you didn't mind the the prototyping and the playtesting, the small changes. Because I think. From this alone, I want to make some changes. I want to make the angels stronger. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, all the best. We'll see you soon.